Good evening, ladies and gents. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Started the stream early tonight just to make sure everything's uh, up and running. Uh, we've got 15 minutes before we do the intros, so make yourselves comfortable, grab a beer. Uh, we'll be back with you as soon as we can. Okay, so just been informed that we're probably going to be starting a little bit early, so you'll be glad you tuned in straight away. Um, just uh, <coughs> leave it with me now for the next two minutes because I've got to do the walk on music and whatever else. So back with you soon. Just so you guys are just tuned in now, just to let you know, we will be underway very shortly. Uh, just going to do some announcements. So just bear with us, Andy's there now. through a few things with you before we start this evening's match. Obviously, it's a great match and a great crowding. But we all have right to poor etiquette, playing for both players. We don't mind you shouting for you or wherever you want to win, which side you're on. But it's very important, if the player's in the middle of a visit, we don't accept the shouting out then. When they finish the visit, that's fair play. But if they're in with stroke, let them play the game. Good luck to both players. Right, we have a professional referee for this evening. He's all the way from Wigan. Give it up, the one and only, Rick Lloyd. Big money back uh, for 2022, Ricky. You've been on the big stage at the back there. You've done it all. But money match is a little bit different. Yeah, this is great for me. Uh, I feel like I've come back to my native country. Well, we're looking forward to a good, clean match tonight and uh, a good bit of banter. Thank you, Mark. Give it up for Rick Lloyd, our referee for this evening. And the first player out. He's played many a big tournament. He's been on the big stage more than once. He's fresh from a big money match win the other week. It's from Wrexham. It's Gaz Higgins. Well, 
Gov. The day's arrived. It's the uh, MMTV debut. Yeah, I think you're fresh to go, Craig. Yeah, you're fresh from a big win the other week uh, against Craig Day. And uh, your confidence is high. You've put the hours in. You've been up and a couple of times up with the club. You happy with the conditions? Yeah, look, I'm great. Thank you. Thank you, Craig. I'm sure it's going to be a great match, Gav. We'll wait for your opponent, then we'll get your game underway. Give it up for Gazzy Gins. And his opponent, he's a local guy. He's Pete Fishcake Fisher. It's here, and I know this means a lot to you. On the internet, social media has gone mental. Absolute cracking crowd behind you. You're pumped up for this one. <laughs> yeah, I've just done it so many times, you know. Yeah, yeah, the, you love the big money match things, and like I said to Gaz earlier, this is a little bit different to tournament play. This is the final. This is take home all the cash. Yeah, it is, you know. So it comes down to this match, and the first point always gets it. Yeah. Give a round of applause, it's Pete Fisher. <laughs> Right on. I'm going to hand you over to our referee, guys. It's a race of 23. It's a £20,000 plus pot. Our referee, Rick Lloyd. Best of luck, guys. Have a great game. So, lag underway. Looks a decent lag from Pete. Okay, hopefully you can hear me okay. I can see you guys in the chat. Hopefully you can see the table. Let's have a little look at the uh, first one of the top downs for tonight. The mic wouldn't come on. Andy, did you say it? Yeah. How far, how fast did I sprint back? Honestly. It's all right, mate. Yes, it was sir. brilliant. So, uh, well done, Daz, on the intros. I got it right for once in my life, didn't I? Can't yeah, believe you it. Nailed it. All right, first break of the night. This would be a good one. Are you on? Do not on. Yes, you are. Yeah, we're yes, all good. Uh, good evening, uh, ladies, gents, and whoever's out there watching. This is going to be some game, you know. Yeah, 100 and odd already. Uh, yeah. So, your commentary team tonight is Daz Norris and uh, Andy Appleton. He's potted off the break. A red one in there. Yeah, that's what you're looking for to take control of the game early on. I'll tell you what, I'll do cut that. Uh, and uh, we're going to try and do stats. Oh, oh, yeah. do it. Nah. nah. Yes, there's a lot of people looking forward to this, and there's a lot of a lot of money on it. It's a nice little shot to fetch it into into the play properly. Is it more options should he get there? Yeah, you'd like to start with a dish, wouldn't you? Well. Looking at the layout of the yellows, it's uh, a perfect opportunity and it settles them early nerves, does. Yeah. So welcome yeah, it's one a good and matchup. All. It's uh, a lot of people have asked me, what do you think? About <coughs> for me, a coin toss. The table's playing fast, nice. Pete's been up and done a lot of work on it. Gaz has been up and done a lot of work on yeah. it. Yeah. I can't remember a day when Pete hasn't been in, to be fair. No, if ever you want to get match fit and match ready, they both deserve to have a good game, don't they, really? Yeah. Early on in the match in the crowd, I'll be aiming this. You can just drop behind the red. You've got to be careful there. Kirk's one yeah. saying hello to you. Good evening, Kirk. Then it, if it, it, I mean, it probably still rolls like yellow, but if you'd have pumped it a little bit more, it was still guaranteed to be on the yellow in the centre. But can he get enough on this? It's important that isn't after this shot he gets on the top yellow. Whether he just like knocks a red away. He might even be tight in the middle pocket this, you know. Could he just decide not to go now and just rest up to that? Yeah, yeah that's not that's a not a bad option. 
But I feel like with the balls, well, he's, he's, he's pretty much committed to, his, to yeah. it. But I'm not sure on our angle if that yellow passes the black into the left centre. Evening, Ash Harper. It is, that, mate. It's really busy. That flies. Yeah. I'll go top down for you if you want. Oh, no. Oh, good, Kirk. Is he going to play his shot? No, he's still thinking. Yeah, it flies in. Yeah. Is everything uh, volume-wise pretty good? Yeah. Did you put the mic in the table? Yeah, I was on my way back and forgot, so I've gone back. Unbelievable. He's yeah. remembered can everything. Can you hear it on yours? Yeah, I can see it on there. All right, so we're booming. Oh, it, it, you know, the way he's played it, it probably didn't go that, but uh, it's, it's better out than in now. Just sign of early nerves there. And... Uh, you haven't got to feel too despondent that even yes there was there, but first you know, the first frame on the match like this, they're both gonna be feeling it. If you're not feeling nerves then uh, you're probably playing the wrong game. It's a good containing safety from Gaz. Just putting the pressure on early doors. <coughs> It spices it up a few intros, a bit of music. Yeah, it, does, yeah, it makes a bit of a night. Yeah, they've got a quality ref in Rick Lloyd. He's been around, uh, around the game a long time. Many a tournament, so. Sean Paris, good evening, mate. Oh, he's just missed it in that, that alert. This is a big chance for Gaz. He's obviously, his first shot's going to be playing the plant. Yeah. Red onto yellow. Do you play to pot the shallow or do you just play to get it out no matter what? Yeah, I just play to pot it and <coughs> take them out. The, the reds, are, it's just the dots then into it early. I hate it when I do that and the yellow just sits there. Yeah, he's definitely playing the plant to yeah, pot yeah, it. Yeah, you will do. He's going to leave him straight back on the same ball into the red. Yeah. And he just goes roundabout. His patterns are, are very, very good. Yeah, I actually, we practiced him over the last few weeks. I actually think he's got one of the best cut breaks I've seen. Yeah, he's very good at yeah, that. Yeah, he plays so well. Oh, wow. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, that's the early nerves that we were talking about, Darren. That's a big miss. And that's a great shot. This could be first blood fisher, and they both had chances there, does. Okay, yeah. This is going to take the roof off in the first frame. Absolutely fantastic crowding. Yes. Well, Pete, the ball, Pete yeah. never expected to come back there. No, and uh, and it does. It's very important early on. Like, yeah, they both made a mistake, and a big mistake. But it, to settle those early nerves, like the next frame is if you get a couple of frames in your belt, you start to play into your stride. Yeah, yeah. You start to uh, feel a bit loose on the arm. And I know won't be nervous. It's a twenty k plus pot. Yeah. If you're not nervous, like you say, you're not in the right game, are you? No. Kenny Williams in there. Good evening. <laughs> Penners is in. Josh McCamill is in. Right. Well, again. machine down there there's a USB slot it goes no, honestly it goes that way up that way up do you want me to do it you jump out sorry guys two sets
Right. So back with you, sorry about that. <coughs> Just needed to get the stats sorted out. That's done. I can do stats now. How are you doing? Stats now. Oh, no. uh, Pete takes the yellow ones. on yellows here he's got to try and yeah, split into them at some there, point but he's got the angle on to dislodge so it leaves a plant now and the bottom one of the three yellows the one nearest the red to the right that actually goes as well so he, if he cuts it thin he could lose a white but there is a plant after this if he gets between the two reds or he might even chip into the red and knock it out of the way completely can someone just say hello via the chat we just had to reopen it so i just want to make sure it's still up and running Perfect. Yeah, so we might just play this through the gap. Just caught it. He's, he's not too bad. He's still got the... I think he's got the plan. But he could have done without touching that red. Yeah. He's just, just made that awkward yeah. yellow now. It's because <coughs> the bottom yellow of the three would have gone in the corner. It would have been flicking into the yellow if it isn't a set plan. This is played to the left hand side. He hasn't, he's actually played for the gap. And he, I think he's got it. Yes. He's got the gap. And when he plays this plant, if it's just offset, the other one, will, the middle of the three, the top yellow, might just knock the other yellow out so it goes in the bottom right. just in the chat box guys he's got to thread the needle here that might not run enough oh, it's going to be snookered yeah it was a tough shot there tricky if he can see enough of it can he flick it off the red tough ask don't think. I think he might be in a spot to bother here, mate. Oh boy. Good uh, good evening. Oh boy, yeah, <coughs> Alan. Yeah, this is uh, not easy. Oh, he's yes, uh there's not many hiding places here as well. Not, not sure what he can really do, really. Oh dear. Mm, that's an unforced error. Yeah. The subtitles, the closed captions, uh, Craig Smith. So if you're your Facebook, there's a little CC icon on the top. You can turn them off. Bit of a nervy start from both. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is, yeah. Yeah, it's fetching his bad ball out into yeah, play. One next to the yellow does go, doesn't it? Yeah. He hasn't got to go here, has he? Not at all. Oh, I think he's definitely going. You reckon he will? Oh, yeah, 100% he's going. Yeah, every ball's got a pocket and uh, he's got to be going. There's no there's no point in playing safe from there. If you get the free shot, well, you're, gonna, you're only in the same boat anyway, so... Mm. Yeah, true, good point. Yeah. Sorry about the chat, guys. It just uh, decided to close on us there, so we're back up and running again now. Please do get this shared. So if you're on Facebook, share the link. Uh, same imagine, on YouTube, uh, please. I think Mark shared it on his UK world pool yeah, as well. Yeah, it should be a good few yeah. tuning in. So we've got to be careful now. Just that red, red by the yeah. yellow, really, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's... 
his positional play is key for that, but he drops this in and then plays one in the uh, left centre. He's, he's going to put him to that one into to the red near the yellow. So that's the shot. In left centre, play the red into the bottom <coughs> left, and a little positional shot puts you there. I'd like to have been a little bit straighter on that, though, wouldn't he? Yeah, because this only any angle is taken, it's rapid, isn't yeah, it? It absolutely does get away from you. It might be coming off the bottom yeah, rail. Yeah, up and down, that's too far. Yeah. So, a tricky little shot. Little test of your queuing, in, is this mm. one? You just like slow drag it back out, I would have thought. Round it again. Left him a left him a sort of double here, hasn't he? It's a bit high, is the cue ball, but the idea played is he can square it up. Two nervy ones from uh, Gaz, though, isn't it? Yes, he'll be feeling a little bit more tension in his arm now. Good evening, Andy. Uh, Scott. Mark Clark. How are you, Paul? <coughs> Andy Scott, how are you, Paul? Predictions on winner. This is uh, yeah, toss of a coin to us. Cue ball's close. Yeah, nice enough. Gets him a shot on the black. Top right. This is going to hurt if he gets this. This yeah. is going to hurt Gaz. He hasn't been missing anything, has he, in nah, practice, Pete? So, nah. you know what I mean? If he fetches that game. And wow. that's 2 0, Pete Fisher. The crowd is going the crowd crazy. Go wild. <laughs> well, that's a dream start for, uh, for Pete to take the lead early on. Big double, that, wasn't it? Huge. Yeah. <laughs> and they're off. <laughs> oh, wow, my cough. Mindset killing changes me. in a big game, eh? Josh, you watch. The chip shop will run out of fish cakes tonight. It if he will. Wins. It absolutely will. He's happy with that one. Uh, I would say about 100. Yeah. About 100 yeah. for now. Yeah. We'll have a little room shot in a sec. You yeah, we'll put the room cam on shortly, but I would probably say about 100 people in at the moment. That's a dry one for Pete. Dave Kelly, all the way from Ireland. How are you, sir? There we go, let's have a little uh, room cam. Oh, it can't, doesn't really yeah, show you. Oh, we got some sheeps in. There, there we, we are, yeah. It could be lamb chops for supper. <laughs> yeah, the lights are out at the back of them. The atmosphere is fantastic. And see, but you can see the well, crowd actually. there. They're probably another five deep at that. And uh, as the night goes on, they'll be filtering from the other room as well. <laughs> yeah. See what we've got. Oh, got this the break. Uh, off the break, yeah. Yeah, so I missed his cup uh, break, but I don't like Gaza's cup break. No, this was this is Pete's break. It's dry. dry Pete broke Pete. dry. Yeah. All these, so Gaza's opted for yellows. And again, never say I'm, I'm never going to really say these are gone because it's easy when you're they sat are, here. They are there, though. but they are there, yeah. and he has a chance. John and Jamie Jones over in Leeds. Good evening, lads. Luke Pierce, good evening, buddy. Ed Cunny, we've seen the house. We're close to a thousand already, are we? I would have thought so. No, we're close to we're close to half a thousand. Yeah. <coughs> oh my coffee's driving me crazy. I still uh give all this game and call it I I I think two two, three maximum in the match frames. In the difference. Yeah, and you know, it's one of those games, isn't it's it? The They're both good fantastic evening. players. Good evening, Johnny. How are you? Yeah, they're both the ability-wise are up there with the best, and uh, they play the great the game in true spirit. Both dangerous. Uh, this is a test too. He's missed a couple. For of me, these. this is a finish that Gaz needs to be taking now, just to give himself a little bit of self-confidence. He'd be thinking, what's going on if he starts missing these sort of finishes? Yeah. Again, a little bit of a nip back shot. Just drag it back for the yellow in the bottom left after this one. Played that so well. He's played that beautiful. He has. And this now, it's there's nothing to do now, really. It's just keep your composure, 
keep your cue arm straight. One in the bottom left, one in the top right, in the top left. The yellow to the black is in the bottom left. He just, he's done all right there. He just, <coughs> he just purposely left himself a bit of queuing space so he's not hampered. But this is any movement in your arm here, this will catch you out. But he, he should be settling into the game now. Just to make sure he just gets enough. Good evening, Rob. Played it well. Yeah, Solid played shot. Really Good well. stroke. Just a little drop in. And he'll get the black and he'll be feeling a lot better in himself. He's like a touch player, isn't he, Gaz? He's like yeah, very, very. No, he feathers a lot of stuff. He's just delicate. Very rare he has to like throw his arm at it. That's a good finish from Gaz Higgins. That'll settle him down a little bit. They're not as boisterous as Pete's crowd, are they? They probably come to expect it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big game for Pete, is this? They might get a bit louder as the night goes on. Evening, Rob. Evening, Lee. Who's favourite, says Dan? Oh, <laughs> don't know. 50-50 in my eyes, it always was. On pool, on experience, probably Gaz, slight more yeah, of the experience, yeah, but Pete, Pete's a great player. He's, he's known by a lot of people, but he doesn't go to the tournaments like a lot of people do. The uh, national champion yeah, at the Pete. county finals last uh, last year. Yeah, he did well, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, sorry. But he's, uh, Just, uh, he's a big character in the game. For those that don't know him, he's, he wears his heart on his sleeve at this game. And an ex-snooker player, fantastic snooker player. From Castleford. Yeah, there's many in me, Aaron. Yeah, about 100 at the moment. Brooking evening, pal. It's a nice break. Well, the table seems to be breaking well, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, they didn't really hit their mars at all, either. Thank you, Andrew. Much appreciated, mate. Yeah, we, we stream quite a lot on the, on the big games, you know. We have a lot of matches in the week on action night and tournaments, but it's difficult to, to put the full commentary team yeah, in. It is. But this sort of game, this is what uh, we all want to watch. Neil Maimon, yeah, I heard you will be coming over tonight, but uh, if you're full of flu, mate, you get wrapped up. Good evening, Daniel. Like I say, if you are new to us, get it shared. Send us a friend, friend request on Facebook. And if you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell. Mr. Patchett. He's making a comeback on the 5th of February. Give us a smile. <laughs> all right. You all right, buddy? How are you? Yeah, the reds look good here, don't they? They'll mingle in somewhere. Ah, uh, mum's watching. So he'd, he'd like to just get some sort of angle on the one in the centre after this one. Yeah, it's, it's about perfect yeah, as well. You can run this through and he'll leave a choice in the top, for the top right, I would have thought. Good evening, Miss Patricia Appleton. And her mother's in the house. She loves the pool. Hope you enjoy the match. She didn't have much choice, did she? <laughs> Good evening, Kenny <laughs> Senior. Sir Kenny. Yeah, so it's uh, pretty much of a stop shot, this. He's run it. So that, oh, that's a bad miss. Wow. He's run it. It's a, it's a, couple it's a bad there. miss for Gaz. Yeah, it's a couple there. He's, he's nervy. Uh, he wanted to stop that dead, and he's not, he's not done any, well, I think anything. If you, if you play that stop shot, he, he, it's still easy. One in the in the left middle, one in the right, and the black goes through the gap of the two yellows. Yeah. And with playing a stop shot, you play it with a little bit more conviction. So he can drop onto his bad one yeah. here, can't he? You know, it's harder to roll balls than yeah. it is to like, you know, Bang. playing with a bit of conviction. Yeah, so Pete, you know, he's in the driving seat at the moment. You take this one down the line now. Yeah, one down the rail. We all good, Kenny. Good evening, Matt. Yeah. Played that nice. Daz Bossoms, you're the legend, mate. Yeah, it's a great crowd. And when Pete wins, it just goes mental. When he wins a frame, when Gaz wins at the moment, 
<laughs> it's, uh, it's a little bit subdued. It's a, bit of a subdued. subtle round of applause, isn't it, when Gaz wins a frame? Yeah. But you are in for a good match, lads. It's, uh... I'm not so sure he tried to uh, get as high as that. Uh, Apologise if you could hear some swearing in the background, the usual suspects. Yes, Daz Norris on comms with Andy tonight. I'm the usual suspect in here, to be fair. Good evening, Shane. How are you? So he's just going to probably pull this back a little bit. He's gone to move it, I think. He's gone to move it, but he's, he's still going to have a shot. And <coughs> I think the previous shot he played onto the yellow by the yeah, bottom left. Yeah, he's going to take the ball in the bottom it. left now and get right yeah. behind this yellow wall, yeah. straight in on it. Still fancy him for this finish. Yeah, I still do. I fancy him to get him. Neil Senior, how are you, pal? Yeah, good luck, Cakey, you saying. That's okay. Yeah. That's about where he wants to be, really. Yeah, it's not bad at all, there. Yeah. He's close enough to it. It's a full commitment on the pot. Just over he put it some, a bit. He put some juice yeah, into that one. He's just over it. it. He has. Still fancy him to pot it, mate. Yes. He's a potter from hell when he's on. Yeah, he and is. I hope I can give him the commentator's curse. <laughs> yeah. He's oh, going, he's going for, backwards. He's okay, he's all right. He's going to watch the white coming back across. He's played that really well. And that's 3 1 fish cake. And it it's great been two, to be 3 1. It could have easily been 2 2. Yeah, it should have been 2 2. It could have been 3 1 the other way. <laughs> but it's, it's a game of if, uh, could have, would have, should have. But it's Pete who's got the lead. 24,000 pound pots. Nice, eh? Not bad. It's not a bad payday. No. What's it going to be? Four hours work? Roughly? Yeah, I would say if it were a three, three, anything between three, three and a half hours, yeah. I think it, they're both fairly open players, aren't they? Yeah, they're not. They're, they're not. The, they both like to go for them. Gonna, I don't think we're going to see many tactical yeah. frames tonight. No, I think match pull you tend to take, you know, like the foot off the gas a little bit and slow it down a little bit. It's every every frames of a nail in the coffin frame, isn't it? And that's a game of millimeters, says Matty. You're right. Yeah. There's your referee sporting his referee top. Ben, no. Uh, from Wigan. Uh, the players will have their own little sort of bit of that pot, and then it's sort of friends and family for the rest of it. <coughs> my replying today, John Vaughan, 23, 21 gas. That could well happen. No surprise, whoever wins this one. It was a good matchup. A few were saying on the internet, social media in the week that Pete couldn't win. That was total nonsense. Oh. Uh, we all know how good he is. We all know how good Gaz is. Yeah. Uh, and that makes for great viewing. If, they, if this game was a really one-sided game, <laughs> one of the two players wouldn't have taken it. Yeah. Simple as. Kevin George is at it again. He, he wants to beat me up, does that, Kevin George? <laughs> he does. He really wants yeah. to beat you up. How are you, pal? I would think Boyle would beat both of these, to be fair. he beat most people, Matty. Unless it's Susan Boyle. Horrible break, this, isn't it? Got plenty of work to do. Messy table. Yeah. Still might go on reds here, you know. Yes. Yeah, he's uh, played this, so the bottom red, does it go and open up the pack? The cluster, if Very it does, tight. puts him in good shape. You can have revenge, Kev. Take the top one and do the same. Yeah. Where's the black? Oh dear. Ah. Oh. Knocks, knocks the black in. He will not be happy with that. He's knocked the black in, how to turn. Gaz, Gaz. Well, Gaz wants it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, Pete knocked no, it in. That's Pete. That's oh, why it was right. quiet. 3 2. They both turned up in shorts, aren't they? Yeah. Just one of them, you've got to look at them. You never think it's going to happen, but it's surprising how often it does. How are you doing, pal? 
Well, the angle was there. For, I thought when I said split into it, I thought the bottom, the bottom one, yeah. but obviously the bottom one didn't go. Three two, Pete. He's just not the blacking out a turn. So uh, you got to say a little bit careless. Yeah, a tiny bit, but yeah. It's not a problem. The speed that the black went into the pocket, he tried. I think he could see that. He just didn't. Uh, just over it a bit. Oh, wet break from gas. That was a nice break, I wanted to. black could be a little bit tricky. Gonna be yellows all day, this. Faye on, on the way to the club. Finish on his worst one after this shot. That red yeah, to Gaza just right slowed down side. a touch, hasn't he? Yeah, he might try and drop. He could. He's got to leave the one on the left side for to get to the black. I thought he'd play onto his bad one. Now I'm surprised he's uh, gone this way. But let's, let's be let's be fair. Gaz is a far superior player to me. Yeah, he's just be dropping this in, won't he? Playing the one in the right centre after this one. Yeah, you know these right, these centres. I don't like the these. Sharp. Yeah, this is why I don't like. That's why I would have played that one because you can just roll it. And yeah. You're guaranteed the next one. Yeah. Yeah, if you go across the face, it just spews. Pete's got to get that black out of his mind now, isn't he? Yeah, it's gone, that frame's gone, and that's uh, the mental side of the game. If you're mentally strong as well, it does help. But he'd love to just drop this and leave the one in the left centre, well, both in the left centre, because the, the, the eye one of the yellows is to get to the black. But uh, he's practised up here, and he knows this is a tricky shot into the middle. Probably looks a lot easier on your screens than it is. Can play the yellow across the table and come back down? Well, if he's looking that way, then he, obviously the yellow goes into the bottom right after yeah, this. So. Yeah, Tell you what, this is a tough shot, though. He's played that really well. He has, actually. but is he, is is he, he going to run okay? past the red? No, he hasn't. And that changes this pattern completely. Yeah, yeah. Getting onto that yeah, black. Yeah, that now. just shows you for him to refuse that into the right centre. Yeah, they're horrible, though, aren't they? They are, yeah. Because he was always hitting the red, and he wasn't sure what was going to happen. Yeah. So. so now he's got to play a good shot. He's got to play two good shots in a row. Yeah. If he was straight on this yellow, it wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, he's, get, gonna, he's, he got a drag, he's got to drag yeah, he between the gap over. of the two reds, hasn't he? He's, under, he's, he's, under he's OK there. He's played a good shot because he's got a great angle. Let's just have a little top-down view again, if we can, if we get time. He's got a great angle for a two-railer here and the black in the left centre. But it's uh, been a tricky little finish, isn't it? Trickier yeah, than it yeah. actually looked. Don't think this was... Uh, last three weren't the way he wanted it to go. No. And he's missed a few finishes, so he'd be thinking... <laughs> You know, won this, isn't it? Gets this, he's back in the mix, big time, three apiece, and he knows he probably could have been in front. Played that well. He didn't even need the two rails, he did play it well, but again. Needs all the care and attention, does this block? Mr. Appleton's in comms with me tonight, Paul. He's the one that knows what he's talking about. Sometimes. Yeah, so this is tricky. Good evening, Paul. Got it. Played it really well. Well played. It. Three apiece. That levels up the scoreboard. I think for this kind of money, it's good to have a referee, isn't it? Oh, definitely, you know, like, yeah. You know, we see a lot and yeah. then... Uh, Basically, I think we ten, have got the replay. Grand, ten grand upwards, you've got to have a replay. Yeah, I, th I think it, it takes the pressure off a lot of things as well. And he's like, obviously, he's a neutral. He's 
Yeah. It doesn't matter to him who wins, really. You don't get any of them dodging racks, twisting racks, no. low, high. <laughs> don't get any of that. It's worth it's worth paying him to come and do it. Definitely. And it adds a little bit more panache to it. Yeah, it does. It looks good. And there's more people coming in, mate. It's going to be a, yeah. a very, very busy Plenty night. of you on the streams now as well, like I've already said. Get it shared, please. Do appreciate your views. He is a top player, is Gaz Matty. I agree with him. Uh, he's been coming up over the last few weeks, Matty, and we've had some good practice sessions, and uh, he's a top lad. How are you going, Phil? Good to see you, mate. All the best. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there's Rick. Looks, they all look good, them, don't they? That's a good break, he struck them well, made a good contact, but has he got a ball? No, it's dry. Is that dry? Yep. And it just shows in the week, he, if he had 20 breaks, he was getting yeah. 17, 18 at a time. Of, you know, like it's weird how Very it high success rate on the break and then it changes. Paul's had a new lease of life, hasn't he? Oh, it's, it's fantastic. It's, fan it's a great watch. It's Speak. come out of the clouds and uh, it's, it's from nowhere. I do it? think black ball rules, definitely. The fact that you can, like, there's very few clubs now that haven't got their own stream. So no. that's made a massive difference. Cheers, Neil. Yes, we'll be there a week of Monday doing our best. Well, thank you very much. Thomas, you all right, pal? I won't take your cue tonight, mate, I promise. <laughs> Hello, Jason, pal. God, it has been a long time, mate. How are you doing, pal? Are you still playing uh, billiards where you're playing, aren't you? Gaz has got yeah. a busy... uh, Reds. Take this red that he's closest to into the bottom right now. He's got the well, problem though, isn't he, on the left hand side of the table? Yeah, the, the, for either set as well. Yeah. I mean, the reds are probably the balls here, like, but. There's more chance of breaking that clustered up of them two together. So. This is a good finish. He's going to play it now. He's going to play the red into the right centre and he'll stun across and, and split. Yeah, and he'll split. <coughs> I'll try to attempt to split the yellow and the red, hopefully leaving a, a save a ball in the in the centre, in the right centre after this. So he needs a good contact on this. He's missed the pot. The pot. And these are He's missed the pot. And it probably oh. them shots are tricky because it's natural to take your eye off the line and look at the uh, the cluster that you're going into. Pete's got a problem at the top though. And cheers, Wayne, for your comments. Thank you. Mr. 23, 22, yeah. Fitters, uh, Fisher, Samuel. Tom Walker, good evening. It's gone a bit blurred. That's you, not us. Yes, Les, it's all pretty good on this side, mate. Have you got your glasses on? Yeah. Les, in your top right-hand corner, there's uh, three little dots. Click on those, and it'll. you have to uh, change the quality to manual and set it to 720, and it'll be all clear again, fella. That's definitely you, not us, mate. The bucket brigade's in. <laughs> oh, wow. Come and play on the table. Please do. Yeah. It's Ainsworth match. Yeah, Ainsworth match blue on the app. Are you going to keep to this or are you going to think about... I Ainsworth? don't know. Simon's on to him a moment about, you know... Yeah. Uh, about the Strachan super fine, but you can't really go wrong with Ainsworth match either, can you? Cheers, Ash Parker. Much appreciated. <laughs> Cheeky little so and so. <laughs> Don't even get it on Yeah. Plot. They are. Speak of the devil, and he's Simon on. Simon Herbert, yeah. The main man. How are you, Paul? Best table fitter around by a country mile. 
Pretty damn good. You can see our sponsors up on the uh, screen. Yeah. They've got quite a few in and uh, big supporters of MMTV. Mr. Clark as well. Just dropped on the 50 yard line there, but yeah. he's uh, got to be playing the one into the top left now, aren't he? Yeah. Yeah, we still have a few. Actually, we haven't done out like this this year yet, but we've got a few penciled in, mate. We'll uh, keep you posted. Yeah, he could have done with that, just running a little bit yeah, further. Yeah, wanted to be straight, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's, he's a good six inch short there, at least. A little bit tricky. He's got a. He can only drop this into all for position. Good evening, Janet. Hope you're well. I think he's going to be. He's, he's ampered queuing as yeah, well, isn't he? So I don't think this is easy at all. No, it's awkward. Hi, right, pal. How are you, mate? Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? Yeah. You have that done. It again. You have that done. Yeah. yeah. It's all right, isn't it? Top man. Oh, it's close. Yeah, it is definitely. Les, Good luck, how Les. You So he's going to drop this in and he's going to be tucking him up right behind the yellows. Yeah, this is going to be a horrible shot for uh, Gaz. Like to fetch this in play. Nice Good. touch. Yes, it is, but you'd have thought it'll put it <coughs> further into Great, play. Yeah, make Zang of him. Yeah. He's guaranteeing on his two to get that, isn't he? But he's going to have to use his first one to clear the red, isn't he? So if he gets them, assuming yeah. that he gets them. Gaz, uh, played him twice. 23-19. Yeah, I won 23-19 and 23-22. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, two good games. Hello, pal. You all right, mate? Just atmosphere's died a little bit, isn't it? Because it's levels now. It's yeah, it's just gone off a bit. The boys should have gone. Yeah. Pete wins, uh, when Pete wins his next frame, it'll bring it back up again. Yeah, it was Stevie Bennett, yeah. Let's uh, have a quick look at top down, see how difficult this really is before <laughs> he takes his shot. Definitely not a rear act, Tony, that's for sure. Not a chance. But it's a, it's uh, a tough hit. White comes out. Yeah, it's a good snooker. Steve, this is uh, White Rose in Osset, West Yorkshire. Um, well, yeah, just outside of Huddersfield, really. Rogers asked you a question there. Yeah, the, I think Gaz is more experienced on the safety play when it needed to be done than uh, Pete is. But Pete, I said to him in the week, uh, he's learnt a lot, hasn't he, over the last three weeks uh, playing the game when it's not there. Uh, he was going a little bit prematurely early on in practice, but towards the end, he tightened it up a little bit and he, yeah, he was he, he quite clever at it. He said to me that he wanted to play loads of different styles of players just to see yeah. what he's got to do. <coughs> yeah, so, yeah, it's... Roger, it's, it's a perfectly matched game. So he's got that problem that you said now. If he'd have made more of that yellow, then these are pretty much over, aren't they? Yeah, but now he's still got to get back up. He can, he can clear the red and just do the same again, can't he? Yeah. If you wanted I, to. I missed the shot there. Did he foul? He it, fouled, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he'll take that right off the table. And he'll probably stick him back up there again. Yeah. Yeah. But this time, make yeah. sure they're out. He's probably run a little bit too far. I'd love to be able to, like, play off one yellow and drop behind. Want to leave it tight on the cushion. 
to like limit his chances of angles to get out. He should be back though, shouldn't he? He's going to get the snooker, uh, I would have thought. He definitely don't want to be leaving a clip because the red will go. So he's got to just pop this and run through with the cue ball and just leave him full ball snooker and fetch them into play, probably. It's in the lap of the gods for Gaz then, Merlin. So, yeah, so just make sure you don't leave a little snip on the red. So just play the yellow and run the cue ball through, just top it through. Leave him full ball. That fetch him into play though, you've got to develop him at the same time. Yeah, you've got to, yeah. Let's have a look what angle he's got. There's, and yeah, there's plenty of room to fetch him into play. He, he just doesn't want to leave the snip on the red. And that's what I think he's worried about, but if he tops it. Yeah, that's it. That's the shot. That's come out really nice. We're not smart. We, we ch yeah, we're changing them in future like to, yeah. Hello, Chris. All the best to you, mate. Yeah, good, mate. Uh, is there any football on? You'd have to ask them behind by, yeah. If, if they're not watching football, but other room like to watch the sports. Megan says best of luck, guys. Did he put it? I didn't yeah. see. I was looking away. No, I away. missed the shot. But uh, I don't know if he left an angle, a snip. I don't know how he put on that, but I'll tell you what, it's gone in. Evening, Craig. Evening, Paul. Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, oh, he's missed oh, it. He's I missed thought it. that was in. Wow, I'm sure that biggest. black was in then. Wow, everyone's he's saying, few, wow. Auntie. He's missed a few. Yeah, just the nervy ones. I would like to have been a fraction higher on this. And black does go. Is the score on it? Is there a picture on it? The score's on it. Yeah, yeah. you can't get the picture on it. Can't get the picture on there. It's, it is you, Joe, that's fine. I know. <laughs> Mental, isn't it? Yeah, so just been told it's five deep around the table now. It was a bad miss from Gaz, that wasn't it? Was uh, after that after it's that missed red two or three, aren't he? Pretty clear cut chances for him. He's probably feeling it still. I don't yeah, know. He's to his own. He could have played it, but he yeah. must have felt confident as hell to put it in the centre. To be fair, like and that cue ball is perfect. Played that really well, you know. So, yeah, yeah. Anything on that yellow, he was yeah. in trouble. So do you play this and come off the top round, or do you, or do you uh, take drop, a chance and just drop, drop and it drop, in the centre? Because that's a lot nicer angle than it looks on that black. Yeah, probably is. Yeah, yeah it is. It's nice, especially yeah. from there. And this could hurt, Gaz. Yes. Also, it was a fluke on the red. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fluke. Probably come a fluke. Up, must have come up played behind the angle, it. but. Yes, yeah, so it's it's one that got away from Gaz. That it could quite easily be in front. Uh, Jane, is it uh, Jammer? Yeah, it could quite easily be in front, mate. Yeah, it's one of them. This could go either way. The problem is more finishes tonight early on than they have all week. Oh yeah, without a doubt. But hey, does that make it exciting? It does. Yes, it does. It really does. Crowd's definitely getting behind Pete. Gaz's, Gaz's side's a little bit quiet at the minute. But, oh, there's, uh, the colours a little bit off, Neil. It shouldn't be. It looks good from where I am. You know it's Gaza's break when you see the glove. Yeah. That's a good cut break he's got. That's a lovely break, isn't it? Very well controlled. Bit of a yellow glow on the overhead. Sorry, it's not to me, so no, I do apologise, but not a lot I can do now. 
Yeah. Seemed all right on there, didn't it? Yeah, seems fine. Now then, Gaz Higgins, can you put that out of your head? And I'll tell you what, as he run behind the red, he'd love to have been on the bottom, on, on the yellow, near the uh, black spot. But as he dropped behind the red there. Let's go top down again. I think he yeah, has. He's going top, he's going yeah. top right with it. Well, then he wants to be back on these bottom two balls. Take the bottom two out and then go back up to the middle of the table. You don't want to be two in and throwing, you want to be like keeping close to your work. No worries, Neil. Yeah, that, that camera is uh, flooded with light, to be fair, so could well be that. Yeah, it is, Alex. It's uh, That's where the big LED TV lights are, and that's that'll affect that. It does look fine to us on this monitor, though, so... Yeah. Missed a couple of these. He's missed, yeah. I'm yeah. just going to say it's same. He'd love to have been a little bit higher up, you know. But uh, he's got to put that to bed, Auntie, and he's got to get it out of his head. These are big frames early on, you know, because towards the end of the match, they all count. Uh, he's played that well, so he'll play this in the centre and just come for the yellow back in the same centre, off the one rail and back out. Well, he's playing bottom, so he must be screwing it back out. Same thing. Yeah, Paul, you're right. He hasn't settled yet. Got a funny I thing totally anyway. agree with you, Paul. He'd be delighted that it could be four all from the mistakes he's made early on. They both had chances early on, so let's say four four could be a fair result. Two dishes as well from Gaz. Yes. You haven't seen the best of Gaz's game at the moment, and you haven't seen the best of Fisher's game at the moment. But it's early doors. It is. What do you think they'll be having a break? Ten frames? Uh, possibly, mate, but it's usually standard, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> it's evenly poised in the white rolls. The £24,000 pot. The race to 23, guys. Let's get them predictions in the chat box. Fire them away. A lot of players are saying there's going to be two, three maximum a minute. I don't think it'll be a big gap either. Can you imagine the crowd if it goes to the wire? Oh, it'll be just the best atmosphere ever if it does that. Can't wait. There's Rick making sure every ball's touching. It is Paul, definitely. Little Jack Finch sat watching the uh, the big screen at home, watching the pool as young Jack, grandson. I hope you're well, Jack. Don't be up too late. <laughs> I hope your mother's not on that Copperberg. Cheering for Pete. Jordan Parkinson says, anybody for Pete? Up to a grand. Oh, there you go. Wow. There's a grand flying around. Should have had it on the main event. He's away again, his Pete. Yeah, just a tricky first shot. He's humming up the plant, red, yellow, or... Well, if the yellow goes, well, it must be tighter than anything. Yeah, but it looks tight, that. And plants can always go wrong on this distance. Oh, he's he's OK there. He's, he's played that absolutely perfect. Absolutely. And this is a good reply. <coughs> Should he get them? Be his first dish. Should he get these? Good evening, John. How are you, mate? Yeah, the predictions are flying in. 23-18, Gaz from Glen. Sean Parrish, 23-17, Pete. Just run that a little bit too far. Yeah. He might still play it in the, in the top right. Or he could drop one into the top left and his roll in the centre takes him to the black. Soft screw. Either this. one. Yeah. You expect him to get these, don't you, Daz? Yeah, I do. But I've expected to get Gaz, uh, Gaz to get a few of these and not, and he hasn't. Are you sure of his cue here? He's played that absolutely perfect. So this is uh, 
Pete's first dish if he gets this. It's penciled in for some time in February. Uh, I don't think the date's been confirmed yet. There he goes. Uh, but there is again going to be happening. It's a good finish. It's a good reply that back from Peter. That's his first plate dish, is it? It is, yeah. Guys has had a dish and a reverse dish so far. That's why he's got two underneath the main four there. Yeah. <coughs> Richard Verity, 23 16, Pete. I hope you're enjoying this at home, guys, on the on the screen. Get the kettle on. Get a few tinnies in. Enjoy the atmosphere. Soak it in. Enjoy the pool. Pool's the winner every time. But somebody's going to go on with £24,000 in the pot. Yeah, Shamil Definitely Pete's. is, Steve. We always thought it was going to go nip and tuck all the way. Yeah. Just replying to Shalim. They said he's queuing so far from the shot. He's uh, a very high standard snooker player, is Pete. It's just the way he cues. Yes. Very mean snooker player in the day. He's still pretty good now. <laughs> That's a cup break dry. Right. All the voices are out. The choir's out. Every time he breaks dry, it goes crazy. Yeah, because they just expect him to clear up. Yeah. I mean, when he gets in a groove and, and on a roll, he Scary. can run four or five rack of no danger. But so can Gaz. First yellow. Evenly yeah. poised. First one. I think he's going to have to go yellow. It's just first one. So, uh, sorry, let's have a look top down. Yeah, we'll give you a shout out, Daniel. <coughs> Shout out to Archie, he's cheering on fish cake with a tinny and he's got a fruit shoot. Nice. Enjoy the tinnies and Archie, enjoy the fruit shoot. <laughs> enjoy the match. <coughs> it's getting even busier, mate. Okay in the house. Cheers, Rob. He's played that well. I've just got a sneaky feeling that Fish is going to take these as well. Get it off, Shelley. I'll take no money. Just tell her, tell Shelley to give you it and put it down to me and then let me know when you're going. You're welcome, Daniel. 23 21 from Love, Rob Lawson, Peter. Shout Jill Appleton in the house, she'll be watching it. Rollers in. <laughs> Enish Apples of Pontefract. I was going to say he wants to make sure if he takes the one top left, he's off the cushion, but he's going opposite way. Yes. Oh, he's okay he's, there. He's away again, though, he's getting in the groove. <laughs> He's starting to uh, move around the table with a little bit of... Oh, is he going to drop behind that ready? Yeah, is, it, is he? No, he's not. He's is he? Okay. Has, no. he has he got the yeah, potting angle, though? Let's have a look. He'll be down on it by has now, Has he got surely. the potting angle? Just. Maybe. Just. He can turn that with Yeah, he can out. turn it, but he's going to lose a cue ball. I'll leave it on this view for now. It's advertised to 26 in Riley's Solihull. Right. No, I think you're talking about a different game. No, Sean. he's on about me and Wayne. Oh, Sever. sorry, sorry, guys. Yeah, Wayne did ask for some sort of like end of February, but I said I would confirm the date with him, but I've not 100% confirmed the date. But I just said we will be playing, so we'll see. And uh, I can't see it being a problem. Sarah in the house. Oh, I thought it was Mr. Ray. He says Mrs. A. He's not got away. Yeah, really. that's he it when you have to play a little yeah. bit aside. That cue ball just moving around. You know, I still fancy him to pot this, you know. Yeah, a little thin slick. He's very good at him. Big frames these, aren't they? Is Massive anybody going to get the two frame gap? Four. Pete did right at the start. He's not had it again since. He's got it. No, he ain't. He hasn't. The oh, brutal, the middle's out. Oh, yeah. 
And that's one that got away from Fishcake. Yeah, just over hit the shot before, didn't he? Yeah, it's uh, just did. He didn't get the putting angle on the last ball. In fact, it was the one where he didn't land onto the top nicely, and he just chased it yeah. after that, didn't he? You'd expect. There's no need for that, Mrs. Ramsden. Thank you for the pulses, by the way. Cheers, Steve. Oh, yeah, nice that's one. great for pot eight. So I hope Duncan's well. Cracking on with his new club. Well, he's got the stream on in there. Top lads. Red must pass underneath. <laughs> yes, he's there. Uh, oh, he's just long. No, he's okay. He's got yeah. the one in the bottom right. Didn't see that one. Exactly. All right, bud. Cue ball's not amazing, amazing, is it? Do you know what I mean? You've it's lost it a little good. bit, like, but, you've, but both of them have let it go a little bit. Yeah. Last night in my money game. That's Chris. Sam Cook, evening, Paul. Oh, don't, no, don't talk oh, to me about my money game. You said dad. I didn't do very well at all. <laughs> Again, he's just lost the white a little bit there, hasn't he? He's going to have to come straight yeah, over the other still, side now. Yeah. He's going to have to play at the other side. And uh, he's putting pressure on, on himself, isn't he, a little bit? Played it well. Played Great shot. Really well. Good shot from Gaz. <laughs> Evening, Dean. So we're levels again after this black. Such a tight game. Cheers, Andrew. It is tight. Oh, they're getting boisterous now, the Welsh guys. Well, are they all Welsh? I think Wrexham. <coughs> it's the first time you've heard them. Maka, yeah, that was a good laugh last night, mate. You played well, didn't you, in first set? Good bit of banter. It is Morgan, it's going to be close. It's going to be nip and tuck all the way. I don't know at what point they might be having a break. It's up to the players, but... Uh, I'm sure we're going to have a timeout at some point. White. Again, the cut break. Oh, no, no the white. Straight in there, he sorry. got stopped from going in. What? He's when he gets that cut break working. He's a dangerous player. He has the same. It's weird that because in, in practice, Pete's been standing up and hitting him. Right, and he's not. No, he's oh, yeah, he's been hitting him from the middle, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was a forfeit last night. He had to, whoever won that last match, yeah. he had to give a forfeit. So he had to run around the club shop when I believe in fairness. <laughs> <laughs> and he did it, he did bless him. <laughs> Evening, Richard. And he's away, he gets first blood again, does he, uh, Peter? Not an easy, it's there, but it's not easy. There's no, these pitfalls, this, isn't there? Yeah, this. He doesn't want to stick on it. Now, the, just can about, he still see the one up the rail? Just about okay on there, I think. He, he might be able to pop the one in the, the red in the left, in the top left. But the one up the rail probably is the shot. I think he's forced to play the one up the rail, I think. Well enough. 
now then he could opt to play the red in the bottom right here then the one in the top and then drop in middle drop in the opposite middle that's the one near the yellow there that could be his problem ball towards the end of the finish which one were we talking about this one the one on the that one this the one red now. This red no. is the difficult, that red. Yeah. yeah, get rid of it now. He could get rid of it now. In yeah. the, he doesn't really alter his pattern. Yeah, the way he's played that, he could be playing the one in the bottom left now. And he, yeah. if he finds a gap between the two yellows, it gives him options, yeah. bigger options. Because to play this in the top left, he's really got a pinpoint position. So he See may. That gap looks like. Yeah, it's, it looks tight from where we are. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, the TV angle's completely different to what you actually see out there. So it's a bit twixt in between. <laughs> yes, ma'am. That's a good shot, Peter. He's left himself every chance there. He's left the angle now to pot this in the uh, top left and come off the side rail. He'd love to rest on the yellow. That's in front of the red. He has. Just like that, Peter Fisher. Just like that. Like to be exactly well, there again. If he yeah, could. if he gets these, it's a nice control finish. That's okay. This is uh, Pete's second dish if he gets this. And a good one at that. Yeah, they weren't easy, were they? They were not easy. He took them out well, didn't he, yeah. He had to do a little bit like fiddly diddly there. It could have gone wrong. Some great positional play from Pete Fisher. I think that was Pete walking out there. Was it? Good, because we might have a comfort break. Yeah. No, no, uh, the ref's no, back. No, they're, they're still playing. He did take him well, Shane. It was a great finish. That finishes like that just tell you that a player's settling down nicely. It was almost like a practice session finish, that, wasn't it? It was a great finish. Good luck. Again. I'll send you another poem if you win. Took me two minutes to write that. <laughs> Brian Baxter, how are you, mate? It is Brookie. It's good stuff tonight. He's, he's not got a ball there, has he? He's got a red. Did he get a red? I think he did. Yeah, he did, yeah. And they've come out nice, haven't they? It's like tennis, a break of serve. Yeah. What's that come up there with your new message? Yeah, just stop scrolling. All right. Steve Lee says, good luck, Pete Fisher. Scudster in the house. Good evening, mate. So he's going to be taking the yellows. Oh, he didn't want to kiss that. And that is, that's a poor shot from Gaz. Yeah. End of visit. He wanted to go around the back of that. I don't see if he's got a pot here. I don't say. Hey, up stranger. How are you, pal? Yeah? Mum and dad all right? Good lad. Good to see you, Harvey. Yes, I don't think he's got a, an out here now. No. So it'll be a... He needs to ride that cue ball somewhere to stop Peter. And I don't know where he's going to do it. What's he thinking of doing here? Flicking off the yellow and pushing the red towards the cushion. Yeah, it looks like he's trying that, but if you don't want to catch it, he's going to knock the red in the no, centre, does he? That's, that's, that could uh, happen. Oh, oh he's trying I'll to tell play the you plan. what, what has, he vision, that one. has he tried to play the plan? Yeah, he has. That what is vision. vision. You can't, wow. that does. Jesus, that's the first that. in 2022. <laughs> <laughs> How many pool players saw that shot? Played it. That was the. Uh, it was. Yeah. He's tried to play that to plant. Yeah. Mm. 
but has he left Peter a chance here? Can he squeeze this out? The red does pot clean. That right hand side one pots clean, but he wants to move something. Move pot, all right. Craig Dixon thinks he played the the double. Well, the way he played the cue ball. The mm. I don't think he'd have put the cue ball up there if he'd uh, if he'd have played the double. I'm not sure, he was drawing that line with his cue either. Yeah. Fair enough, Craig. Either way. Fair enough, right? Yep, probably. Oh, it's just not cleared the pocket. Now then, advantage yellows in this frame. <coughs> we'll take your word for it, Craig. You're not a bad judge, mate. We're Mickey. Pete grabbed that top left pocket back. Well, they're up on the chairs in the uh, in the rows. Absolutely mobbed. Yeah, there must be, I don't know, 150 people in. Uh, try and get you a better uh, room shot. Elliot Glover in. How are you, Paul? What are you going to do here? It's a bit ambitious to play into the bottom left and screw the cue ball across, off the side rail and across, isn't it, to get a finish? But what? how is he going to stop Gaz going for a finish after this? For me, he'd have to just kill the yellow of the top corner yeah, pocket. I think you can just nick that pocket back. Yeah, just, well, or just kill the yellow and force Gaz yeah. to play it into something, but just, you know, buy a bit of time, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, probably uh, Jimmy, but uh, there's a few more than that, I think. It's a bit tricky, this. For me, he's only got one shot for me. And Taking plenty of time. He's got, to, he's got to cover the yellow up over the pocket and try and stop him from finishing or develop a ball himself. Is, where he's playing this, he's going in for the centre. Decent chance now for guys. Yeah, it's tough, huh? there's plenty in, mate. be fine <coughs> lounge bar pretty pretty quiet and you'd expect the guys to take these <coughs> You had more than a bit of run, Nick. <coughs> I played. I didn't play well, did I, Nick? You, uh, <coughs> you played really well. You outplayed me. There's no two ways about it. I definitely, definitely want to play you again. Just wasn't my day at all. Deserved winner. Turned it off. Well, there's a side bet going around the club. Somebody's having an even money 500 on gas to win by three. Oh, wow. That's a big bet. That is a big bet, especially this stage of the game. It's been tit for tat so far. Yeah. It's taken these really nice, Gaz. And he's a big bet because he's, he's like, he's going to level it up now, but he was behind when he tried to get the bet. It's a nice little finish there from Gaz.
There is plenty of staff on tonight, Gaz. Can you sup a pint? I've got to meet mm, 12 frames down. We've not had a break yet, which I'm quite surprised about. to break. <coughs> mm, fouled on the break this time. First foul we've had tonight off the break. And a very good chance for Gaz. First foul on the break. Has he? Yeah, in off. Is that a Russian pool player? In off. In off. I do, Gareth. Hello, Craig. Are you in? Are you in England? Are you in Paris? He gets about us, that lad. Top lad, though. Mr. Belushi himself. Well, Gaz is away again here, is it? He's yeah. on reds. Yeah, put the yellow to move it out of the way. I'm going to leave yourself a finish, yeah? <coughs> yeah, I'm not sure, Camper. We mentioned that earlier on, actually. He's, uh, he was uh, putting them straight down the middle in practice. He's gone for the cut break. Yeah, he's... He was in last night having a knock, so maybe he changed it then. Gaza's patterns are quite strong, aren't they? Yeah, well, you'd expect it. He, he seems to finish well. That red yellow towards the top right, they, they, it does go. Yeah. It's one of them where you've got to be nicely on it. Well, he'll be saving the uh, the one near the yellow for his last ball, I would yeah, have thought. Definitely. So if he drops this in, he'll, and yeah, he. he He'll probably play in the middle and come back out towards the centre of the table. Both in the top left. And the last ball's near the yellow for the black in the top left. Just a little bit short there, but... Needs to be putting these away, don't you now? Yeah. Ooh, just coming back below the bottom. Yeah, he's just below dragging it back. Out, yeah. Played it well. Yeah, those are the ones he wasn't uh, He was missing early doors. Earlier. Yeah. Yes, I just said that, Campo. He's definitely in practice. He was uh, knocking him in for fun off his break from standing up and hitting him. But he's playing cut break tonight, which is strange. Oh, that's missed. Surprised he did that, because I thought he'd top that through, actually. And I think, are these mm -hmm. yellows dead set for the bottom right? <laughs> like that. It is, yeah. There's been a good few misses, you know, haven't there? Yeah. yeah. And, and Gaz, Gaz has missed, missed most of them. Hmm. That bet on? Yeah? Did he duck it? Two sets, guys.
Pete's just having a good look at these and not easy. Yeah, looking just to play the yellow up now, I would have thought. Or could leave behind the yellow that's the plant. Probably will just try and take top right. But we'll be leaving a, a skilly on for Gaz if he tries that. There you are, that's a good side bet taken. There's a bet just been struck for another 500. Pete, plus three. Oh, wow. That's a big bet at this stage because uh, it's been chances galore, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, Jamie Fitzgerald, <laughs> 500 side bet. Confidence in your man, no? Decent uh, shot that from Pete. He's developed the yellow and not left anything easy. Yeah, he's. Uh, I don't want to go top side of this red. It's got it. Enough, maybe. Oh, he's played a very, very good shot there. Excellent shot. <laughs> now then, Peter, is he going to try and put, kill the red and hide the cue ball behind the top two, bottom two yellows? Oh, he's missed the red. Yellow's in. Uh, and the white's in. Sorry. That's a gimmick. That's what he tried in yeah. to kill the red. And that's uh this is the first time is it first time Gaza's been in front? Yes. Is it? Yeah. Making sure as well by putting the yellow first. Yes. Don't see him missing any of these. No. Cheers, Deb. Nice. He takes the lead for the first time, does Gareth Higgins. 7 6 and race to 23 for 24,000 pounds. It's a good time for Gaz to have a little walk. They just keep coming in to watch this match, pal. Yeah, let's have a. Uh, I was going to. I was going to say, let's have a. Uh, Let's have a little bit of a room you shot. You can't really see, but it's uh, like right the way back to the bar. Yeah, it is very busy. You're probably 10, 15 deep from the table. <clears throat> I'm not sure if he'll have a break shortly, these players. I think they do want... close to one, yeah. I thought, I thought Gaz might go then. Right. Table looks class, does. It's looking good. Uh, dry break. Yeah. And see the point. Oh, red to the balls. It's usually the way when you break off a pool. It's your first shot. That's the hardest. Yeah. He gets a good red here, gets in good shape, and uh, you got to fancy him for him. He's over it, that one, but he needs a kiss on this one. It's going to stick. He'd have loved to be on the one in the bottom right, but I think he's just run too far. But he'll get another chance at that. Take the one out in the top right, releases the, the red at the side of it in the same pocket for later on. That could be his last ball. Well, it won't be now, maybe not. I think he's got to play the one in the bottom left. Does it go, Daz? Can, can you see on the overhead? Looks like it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's,
keeps tight on there as well, doesn't it? He's looking the way he's queuing up. Tells you that he possibly does go. <coughs> Enjoy your shifts, good stuff. Just over queued the first one, didn't he? Yeah. Struck it so well. Cheers, good stuff. Thanks for viewing. So he's going to snip this in. The cue ball's going to be travelling. He needs a bounce. He's got one. It goes in the left centre, I believe. Yeah, it does. So what will he do? Screw off the side rail? Yeah. And then take the bottom two reds out? Yeah. So he wants to be one. right in the centre of the table after this. That looks pretty good. This is tight, though. <laughs> He hasn't got to do so much with the white this time. You've got to concentrate, keep your eye on the pot as well. He needs a good angle on that last red to get back out. Yeah. He'd love to be able to leave an angle where he can come off a two-railer and come round the back of the yellow near the bottom left and back into the middle of the table. So, like, try and leave it a little bit high. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well. He's maybe OK. He's going to get a shot of it. I mean, can he avoid... He might even top this, you know, and come back out. The other way, but it looked like he was coming back. Do you take your medicine? It's it's in a, a, yeah, a long one. It's hard to hold for the black, though. It is on this table, so we might even play this with some running side and take the two railer back up towards past the blue spot. He's screwing a bit of reverse side, but he's taking him away from the red. It's a tricky one. We might. He might have landed really straight there, you know, it's hard to, to say. He's got to be careful here. Right. If he's on that, he that. has, but this has also got to be played at dead weight. He's down on it straight away. Yeah, nice and steady. Watch that cue ball's going to travel. Too hard. No, it's OK. I thought he's that was too hard when it set off. He's happy with it. And he's got it. Wow. That's a good finish, Peter. Reverse dish that. Evening, Ian. That's a good finish. Evening, Ian. 7-7. Seven, seven. Was a good finish, that one, too. Both players seem to step up a little bit now. Yeah. It's a good watch. How you doing, buddy? I'm a bit busy. How are you, mate? Good to see you, yeah. Lovely, mate. That's Pete's gone straight down the middle this time. Brilliant. She's brilliant. We'll get her booked in again. Yeah, yeah, we'll sort some out. <laughs> it's uh, myself, Andy Appleton, and uh, Darren Norris in comes tonight. Big call, Terry, Terry early on, but uh, it has been touted. It's going to be close all the way. Nip and tuck. And do we break in this yellow out now on the side cushion? Perfect angle. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, it's just. Yeah, I think he's okay. okay. He's just yeah, He's up. got the one in the top left though. The, the backup ball. He's always going to leave that. We'd love them both yellows to go in, you know, like clean, but maybe yeah. the one at the left hand side, if it does go, I don't know. <laughs> well, this next shot's key, isn't it? Yeah, it's got to get on one of them two on the left hand side yeah. fairly soon. It's going to be screwing straight back out here. It's enough to screw over now. Yes, he's got a good angle though to come across. I think it's only the, the outside one that goes, though. It looks it the way he's playing yeah. it, he must do. Well, yeah, must the way go. he's playing that, they both must go. Yeah. It's a little bit hampered queuing. Yeah, this ain't nice. No. 
That does not look like it goes, does it? Stream it doesn't, but he's, well, he's played it. He must go. No, he didn't. Probably didn't. Or was he probably didn't? He wanted to be further across, didn't he? On the black. Uh, that was uh, That's one that got away from the yeah, fish cake. Definitely. Yes, Jaden. He does look very focused. This is a big chance for Gaz to regain the lead. It's got a little bit tricky to do. He'd probably pop this and he, try and develop that. Red he will, now. but he, he's got a backup ball in the bottom right. But he's going to be moving it. Perfect. He has played it well. So the problem ball now is the red going to be the red near the black. But he's got a good angle. I think here. that goes, you know. Does it? Do you think it goes in, yeah, the, in that corner pocket? I think it does. Oh, it looks tight there yeah, as well. It does look tight. Maybe he could he could play this in the bottom right hand corner and, and like get on it straight away, attack it early. Just working his way around, Gaz. I think he'll be taking this one in the left centre, then playing on the bottom right and playing position on it then. Enjoy your darts, Alan. Yeah, so a good positional shot there. Do you play this, Daz? Do you play in the bottom corner and play off the bottom rail to the yellow on the left-hand side? Like a target ball? Uh, just, yeah, because yeah, you've got two. Yeah, yeah, it two. gives you some sort of target. To sure. go behind it would be cruel, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. To go behind the yellow. Like that, you mean? Yeah, Ooh, but... Oh, he's just... He's fine. Yeah, he's fine. He's it played, was very close you, to what you said you, there. Yeah, you, you pick a ball and you play to that area, to that target, and it gives you... It's a blocker, isn't it? Yes, this is a well-worked-out finish from Gaz. Evening, Good evening, Ben. Ben, how are you, sir? Alan Millership, how are you? <laughs> Happy New Year to you, Paul. Yes, a well worked out finish for Gallifrey regains the lead, 8-7. Still a long, long way to go. But both players are settled now. Yeah, it's a very quick match as well. Yeah, it's a finish that Peter will be thinking I should have got them, but you're going to see a few more of them. Average, great finishes. And average frame time is about four minutes, which is what you'd expect. It's pretty good though, isn't it? Yeah, pretty decent. They're a little bit out because uh, referees tend to take a little bit longer racking than a player would. That looks like it's our first intermission. Yeah, that could be an intermission, guys, a toilet break or whatever. Yeah. So is. there's a few stats for you to keep you interested and watch Pete Stir. We'll have a, probably five or ten minutes. How are you, pal? Good to see you, mate. Yeah. Evening, Ralph. So we've had what we had here, a uh, break dish, two to Peter, one to Gareth. You can see on the screen, you don't need me to go through it, but uh, just a little bit of information. Yeah, we're both good, uh, Ben. Time for a drink and a, and a comfort break. See you in a bit, guys.
All right, looks like we're uh, coming back now. Do hope you're enjoying the scream, ladies and gentlemen. Like I say, if you are new to us, uh, send us a friend request on Facebook or uh, subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel and get it shared tonight, please, if you don't mind. Well, the side bet's going everywhere tonight. Is there? Yeah. Pink plus three, Pink, Pink plus four. Well, yeah. they're, they're massive bets, plus threes. Yeah. Way this We're back is again now. We're underway, are we? Yeah, just about. Having a quick break. break. In off. That white is in off. Oh. I'm not a lover of the crowd cheering when there's an in off or something like that, but uh, you know when there's a bit of beer involved. As long as it, they've been aved on shots, haven't they? So that's yeah, pretty yeah, good yeah. at this time. <clears throat> it's probably one of the busiest games I've seen. Yeah, Jesus. very busy. Look at that, beautiful. It's the first shot here. What's he do? He doesn't really have to move anything, does he? Anything, <coughs> if anything, the red at the bottom of the table. You know, like blocking that yellow a little bit. He's off to pop this and move it as well. He needs to drop on the ball, and he has. Now then, all the yellows have sat there, waiting to be picked off. So Peter, this is what is normally pretty good at when he's close in. He's a yeah. great part of it anyway, they both are. No, but he's, he's cute. Little ball, stun shots. Little stun shots, he's really yeah. good at them. Good evening, Chloe, Max and Holly. Hope you're uh, enjoying the pool. He's played that. As, but does the yellow still pass with the red as it blocked it in the top pocket? He's got some backup balls, but he would have loved to have been on that one in the top left. Just done that shout out. Yeah, you can give a shout out. Let me give that shout out to Yeah, Chloe you can do it as well. Why Holly. not? And Ben there, sat watching the TV. I hope you enjoy the pool. Have a great night. This is done. all drop-ins now. Just wants to fetch the cue ball round about the top spot where the cue ball's racked. A little bit short there. Yeah. He's a little bit short. And I'm not sure if he can hold this, you know. He's going to have to go up and down, he? Had to play right where the head spot is. Up and down. Well, he can still drop it in and take it in the bottom right. But he doesn't want to be throwing the cue ball around. The cue ball's definitely going further away from that last pot than he would have liked. So he might even come off the top rail. Yeah, he has done it. The oh. cue ball's close to the middle. It's okay. Played that really, really well, but he's yeah. just off angle here. Just gonna nip this back a little bit. Yeah, a little stun, just a little nip it back. Played it well. Just got one, Rob. Thank you. Yeah. No, I'm alright. He just came to me, Jamie. So. No way. No way. No. What happened there? He's just not. He's just missed it. He's missed it by well, it's virtually a wrong postcode shot. That one. I think someone might have moved toward him, but that's his side over there. Wow. That can plant seeds. Yeah, that can do horrible things to your head. You don't expect that from Peter Fisher. Maybe you think your work's done and you come off the gas, but I told him in the week, every frame's a nail in the coffin. Yeah. You can't afford to give Gaz, a player of his stature, them chances to come back and bite you. I'm not sure what happened there. He, he, he indicated to someone as he walked away from the table, but that's his side on that side, so I'd be surprised. Yeah, if sometimes they can shout a bit premature. It yeah. might put you off, but that could be a huge error. You missed one of these earlier. You missed a black. No, didn't see into the middle of this. See him missing these. No, me too. And this is a two-frame lead to Gaz, which he has not had. The 
last thing you want to do is let Gad start feeling good because he's a dangerous player. It does happen, Stephen. It happens a lot. You've watched the pool on the TV over the last few months and everybody's been missing balls. It's they're only human pal, they're not robots. But this is a two-frame lead and it could be a telling factor <coughs> in this match. Yeah, Pete needs to get out of his Every head game has turning points and that could be one. What do you reckon, Daz? Yeah, I'd like to know what happened there. That was uh, Maybe put a quick one in. Yeah. No, not really. No. Just, I missed I it. Know, I, just, just I just turned around and I saw the black still on the table. Yeah. That, what's happening? Yeah. There is Janet. A long, long way. It's a long way to Tipperary, love. A long, long way. But it's what he does mentally to you. Yeah, it does. It really. Next black you get on, you think, don't do that again. Well, when you miss a ball like that, you're exactly right in what you mm. just said, because when you do start thinking that, yeah, and yeah. then the focus is a little bit changed, yeah. the mindset's changed. But then when you make an uncharacteristic mistake like that, it normally costs you a couple of frames on top. Yeah. And this is a yeah. You've horrible got... part of the match to start getting two, three behind. Yeah. Sometimes when a uh, it is, and I'm in Tipperary watching this. Give over spanner. <laughs> Quality, mate. I just thought I'd throw a spanner in the works. Oh, oh wow. I know don't, it's don't, please don't get him started. It's nuts, isn't it? <laughs> don't get him started. <laughs> i got a bad enough cough as it is. Please don't get him started. Hey, Mr. Roberts, how you doing? Well then, Jonathan, how are you, pal? You always recover, mate. So Gaz is in here as well on the Reds. You've got a great touch of a ball, hasn't he? Mm. He finesses it. Never is anything too hard, does he? No, he's got so, so much good control of the cue ball. <laughs> Enjoyed him during lockdown. Tough opponent in lockdown, wasn't he? These are there, mate, aren't they? Yeah, there's, they there's are. not a lot to do. They really are. It's, you're looking for a case where it can go wrong, but you can't find one. And that makes it even better. He could play the one in the centre, could just run through a little bit, play the one in the top right, yeah. and drop back onto these two. So he could stun it. He's got options here. He's going to play the one top right. He's overrun that, has he? Does that? No, he goes. Does it both go? Yeah, does it, it go? Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. Looked a little bit weird on the screen, but yeah, it must go. Played yes, well then, yeah. he has got a good shot selection. All stuns these. <coughs> Let's say it's a stunning finish. And that is going to hurt. He has got great shot selection, Dev. He doesn't do anything big, he just plods along and plays it and a great player he's definitely silenced the crowd a little bit that's for sure yeah and that's a two frame gap now and you can hear the welsh now and i said you miss a ball like that and it comes back to haunt you the pool gods are not very forgiving but there'll be other twists in this match gaswell's missing a good few early but he's looking yeah, a bit he's more looking solid much now. more settled now yeah he definitely is he's looking like he's in he's in for the long haul Oh, Peter has something to think about now. He needs to get back onto the winning, winning trail. Got some other matches coming up as well. Uh, Andy Patchett, Wayne Stadler. Yeah, 
probably just the way it looks. 5th of February. And it's also rumoured that Marvin Nestor in March. And George Taney, yeah. And George Taney. Not sure if that'll come off or not, but Marvin's up for it and he's, he's, uh, he's talking March time. I'm not sure if George has confirmed. Oh, Neil, definitely still anyone's game. No doubt about that. Get a plant first shot. It's a nice little shot, though, isn't it? It's right on his bad ball. It is Terry. It's on the 5th of February in the Rose against Wayne uh, Sadler. Oh, that's not the best shot for you. He wanted, yeah, he right wanted, right wanted to be on the one in the corner and just bump the last yellow. Now he's got to play a good positional shot. Still there, so he plays it a little bit higher the top spot. Nice. Needs to run, yes, that's nice enough. Again, he's got a chance of the finish, and these that he doesn't normally miss these finishes, does he? But he's a little bit still, I don't know if he's 100 percent settled just no, yet. No, he's not. I think he's feeling it now. Yeah, he's just a little bit short of pace on that positional shot. He's gonna take the one in the middle probably and check it up. But I wouldn't I just play it out and bump the yellow. Just fetch it, you know, off the side rail and just fetch it into play. He's off for the middle, you know. He's going to check this up, but the cue ball's still going to get away from you. How was that not dropped? Because I tell you, the middles are that ultra is... hard. Doesn't matter what people say on stream and that. I, we know this table, and you've still got to be precise. Saving races, it's not an easy finish for Reds. No, it's not. But it's a finish again that Peter should have put to bed. You can't keep dropping short of finishes. He just is a free flow player, is Pete. You know, like he's, he likes to be aggressive more often than not. And when he hits that stride, he's, he's, he's fearless, he's fantastic to watch. But Gaz is one of them players that can stop you from doing yeah, that. Yeah, just punish you. Oh, he can. He, his pattern plays great, his safety plays great. He'll play the right shot. It's a nice shot as well. See, he, he could be playing for these, the red on the rail, if he drops yeah. this in, to play it off the two reds. Just to play, yeah, use it Just as a big use bag. Use it as a big bag and yeah. open up the, then he's, he's opened up the reds. So he could, if he hasn't got the angle, he'll play it off the cushion onto the onto the yellow. Ideally, he'd like to miss it, but it's an option to block as a blocker, like that. He, he's run far enough away there, but he can still play the same shot. And he has to play it. You could even see him playing cushion first here, off the red, in order to make sure he gets yeah, the, the split. Yeah, to make sure he's got the angle. Yeah. yeah. I feel he's got to take it down the rail. Could he use the red into the right no, centre to get into it, them? Yeah, but it, it no could, shot it, it's not forced to come out. Yeah. He's got to play cushion first off the red, about six inches before the pocket, and then bump it off the red. He's hit it too much, too thick. But it, that was the shot, but he just caught yeah. the rail t miles too early. If that yellow goes, which I think it does, it's tight, but yeah, I it think does it go. goes. Yeah, but this see. is the pocket he missed that black into. Yeah. He's having a, a second look, so it must be half a pocket. I think it goes, that does. Oh, it does go. We need to pop this because we don't want to leave it right over the pocket because it's a skilly in, involved if he does after this. Oh, he's played knuckle and ball. Has he played that? I'm not, not sure so he has. Sure. Not but so he'll take sure. it. So, top left, right middle. Left middle is a. He's just snatching a bit there, you know. Yeah, you he is. That? He's not queuing just it as nice it and clean bit. like he normally does. No, he's not free flowing yet. 
So just make sure you get back into the top half of the and table. Again. He's okay. Yeah, just drop just it in. Just a tiniest little but he nudge just on this. A bit on his shot there. Yeah, he did then on that one he as well. Nothing to That's do. Better. Yeah. But he'll, oh, he needs this down. one. He'll be feeling a little bit better, and the crowd are up on their feet again. It's a great game to watch, Lance. I hope you are enjoying it. Neil Gledhill, still anyone's game. You are right. It's nice to have a, a couple of frames cushion, but... Lee Shepherd, yeah, he's a great player, is Lee. He's been here before, a uh, good friend of mine gentleman and I'm sure we can find him again mate uh, if he wants to play uh, home and away uh, there's plenty of players knocking about but we can talk about that Dev after this match so we'll we'll look to get him matched up an home and away game we'll have a trip up to your place you needed that did Peter he and really this is did. his break Back now. To the cut. In, yeah, he's cut breaking. I like it when he stands up and hits him. See, so when the cut break doesn't work and it comes out like that, yeah. you're just leaving your opponent. Yeah, you are, yeah. He's a very good front ball breaker. Very good. He's done it for the last three or four weeks. And tonight, I've got to say, it's the first time I've seen the cut break. I've I, I just don't, he was in last night. I'm just wondering if he changed it last night. It's the well, only why? thing I can think. You like it, Bob? Appreciate that. Yeah, no, that's nice what we're when you saying. get good feedback like that, doesn't it? It makes it all worthwhile. Oh, it does, yeah. Just Neil's just said what you said there. He's just doesn't look like he's queuing it as smooth as he normally does. Got to agree with you, to be honest, Neil. I, I've noticed in a few shots he's just throwing his arm down and you know, like lunging at the ball. He, he's normally a fantastic cueist yeah, and a free flow it, player. It? That's a nice little plant there. And uh, <clears throat> yellow's looking pretty good here. He might have covered the yellow into the left center here. And I'm not sure if he can get the yellow over the bottom corner, but is it a big pocket for the one on the rail? Is, is he playing a plant? Yeah, it's a this lot is a of distance. big plant, but Reds are in a world of pain as well. It's a great shot. Played it really well. I do like Gaza's game, you know. Yeah, it's a great shot. Strong player. Tried to spit I've, that out. It tried to spit that, that, didn't it? That middle bag then. Good old Supreme tables yeah, in the I'd middle pocket. I'd say that Gaza's starting to find his feet. Yeah, he has. He looks the more settled. He's taking his, his chances in a classy fashion. Yeah. Whereas early on in the match, he was edgy. He was a bit unsure, but now he's in stroke. Mate, he's that, the more settled of the two. Yeah, the crowd needs, needs to get behind Pete a little bit more, I think. I think they are behind him, but only when he's on the winning ball. Oh, he'd like to have been a bit higher there, wouldn't he? He's fine. He would he'd love to have been a bit higher, but he's fine. Penners, how you doing? Penners in the house. You still recovering or are you all right now? So he's just going to drop this in and take the long black, I would have thought. I'm not going to drop it in. He's going to obviously come away from the rail a good two foot. Yeah, and he's perfect. in the top right. Back to his three frame up. Queuing well his gas now, he can see the difference. The body language is strong. His patterns are good. And he's queuing pretty good. That's 11 8. And is the gap winding? Is it winding in? Is he going to make it? Fish at sweat. Don't write off the fish cake just yet. I'm actually surprised about the dish count. If you looked at the run up games, it's oh, been mental. immense. Yeah. yeah. But on the run up games, it was like putting, hey, up, he was putting the, the, the break dishes and reverse dishes. Yeah, on. yeah. So yeah. it was a little bit false. Yeah. yeah. It was break and reverse.
I did Neil, yeah. Uh, in a couple of sets, he did do that. And uh, that's why I say this game's not over. It's, it's not even at the halfway mark yet. No. So there's plenty of play. It's three frames. It, you turn that around. You've got to you've got to stay positive. This rule set lends itself to comebacks, doesn't it? Yeah, I think Pete should change his break and go from the front. Yeah. Probably scared of scratching, but you can also scratch on the cut break. But his strongest break is off the front. And we've not seen that tonight, have we? And I'll tell you what, looking at these again, I'll say it again. He has got a great cut break as Gazigans. Yellow's in again, and these look. He's not missing these, in Gaz. Uh, he shouldn't do. The commentators <laughs> curse could kick in. I was going to say early you're on. Find, you're finding it hard. To, early on, to you try. Uh, yeah, but you're trying to. You're looking for something that's probably not there to miss these. I'm saying that he didn't play the greatest of shots there. No. Because <laughs> he should have been taking the bottom out, the bottom two out. Steady Eddie. Thank you, Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah Neil. Hundred percent it's easier, mate, when there's no pressure. Yeah, mate. The thing no. is you go behind because you take the wrong shots on when you play match pool, you tend to find the right shot at the right time. That's why the game slows down dramatically. 23-16, that's a great, well, it's a massive shout. He's just gone a little bit backwards way for these, hasn't he? Yeah, he's, he wanted to be on the, bottom the two yellow. bottom yeah, ones. Yeah. Yeah. But he's got good composure out table. Yeah, he don't panic when he gets uh, one slightly he get wrong, does he? does he? Nah. He just gets on with the job. We well, watched a lot of him in lockdown, didn't we? And he was just yeah. so steady. How many frames did he play oh, in lockdown? I dread to think. Incredible. He's probably the most played pool player in the UK yeah. over the last two years. Got to be a little bit careful here. He's got a bully he screw. He'll play to the red, like what we talk blocker balls. But he'd love to just miss it and drop behind, you know, a bit lower down. I'm not sure if he can screw straight back out here. Can't tell on this angle. Yeah, yeah Debbie just, has made very hard work of these. You're well part. You're good, mate, yeah. Yeah, ain't seen him for a while. Yeah, so the angle looks a little bit... Yeah, he's yeah, trying he's to looked, get through yeah, that. Yeah, but if he plays the, if the gap's perfect... Top one. But yeah. if he catches the bottom ball, he's right. still got a shot on the yellow. Ah, so it is the right shot. He'd love to get that gap. He didn't want to hit the top one. <laughs> He didn't want to hit the top one. Wow. That's one thing I will say about He has got the occasional loose shot, and he? He has. Yeah. Everyone has, but he has got Just the occasional loose one. when he's playing clinical. But listen, <laughs> he might still well pot this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, you, when you've got your opponent playing his shot, you always think the worst. Then he'll not be far away. But it's not today. Now then, Peter Fisher. Still made him work here because I'm not sure if either of them reds. Sure, the that right hand corner. side one yeah, might. The, maybe, but he, it'll go cushion first. I think it worst. goes straight, that. Yeah, if it goes straight, then yeah, he's great. okay. Yeah, yeah, he's all right. But if not, it can go cushion first and kill it. Yeah, there's plenty in supporting him. Cake is, uh, I'd say it's probably. 50 to Everybody's one. Willing Fisher <laughs> 50 to one, really, in here. Yeah. You know, so you look at the table now, and you just think, 
practice session. Can't miss them, can you? Yeah. There's been more mistakes in this game than I've seen either. Well, like one of I them. said, two dishes each. This yeah. this would be. In I know you said month. you're putting on reverses, but, yeah, but still, they were dishing for fun. They've made more mistakes than they have done in the last month coming up mm. here practicing. But that's the pressure of the big books and you know, like the crowd and yeah, the great players. But pressure can make you not be a great player <laughs> when it's going against you. That's a really good shot, that one. Yeah. The match will have more twists and turns in this, and there's more to come. I'd love to just be able to drop this in. Yeah, that's all he's got, to got it. it. He's got that. Why is he that did, where's that coming from? He did a little uh, twitch there, didn't he? Yeah. But he made it. See, there he, he hesitated again. There. He didn't know to drop it in or stun up. He missed the, this is what he missed earlier. But you won't think he'd miss he it again. He ain't missing that one. He ain't missing that one. Yeah. He's got that stab in his action there. But he gets the result. 24 grand. Nice. Yeah, it's a £24,000 pot. 24000 Lee. It's enough to make your back arm go a bit twitchy, Cheers, isn't it? Neil. We'd love to have you at the club playing one of these days, buddy. I've watched a couple of your games on stream. He did need it, Neil. It was a, a big frame for him. But he narrows the gap. Yeah, he needs any more than three and it starts getting horrible, doesn't it? You, yeah. want, you want to be close. Okay, Jack now, go on, Pete Fisher. You've right. got this big lad. Straight down the middle. Yeah, he's changed his break. That's what I wanted to see him doing. He's been knocking balls in for fun in, the, in this big front nice on break. On. He had a very, he probably had a 75, 80% success rate on the break in practice from the front. I've seen him cut break and it hasn't worked, has it? Slightly messy table. It is, but it's a big shot. It's not an easy finish by any means, but again, he's got a shot into the top and it's a big shot. Good evening, Paul. I feel when it's like this, you, you have to take it on. You have to commit 100% all out for it. It's one pot that could potentially get you the frame. Yeah, it's one pot that could lose you the frame. But yeah. if you don't take the chances when they're there and you try and hide, you tend to think, I probably should have committed. You're going red top left. For me, one shot in the top left. Yeah. Yeah. He might play the one in the left centre, but that's a tough shot on this table. Nah. For me, that could be your last ball. You get through to that one top left. I think he can. Yeah, there's a, a, a case for that. Michael Tomlinson, how would I turn the subtitles off? Go on, Daz. Right, so you're That's on Facebook. Shot. So there's on on the top right hand side of your screen, there should be like a little tiny little square box that says CC in it, closed captions. Click on that and you can turn them off. It's on the red ones, isn't it? Stephen Appleton in there, one scuba. He's done it again. Yes, he's just thrown his strange. shoulder into the shots, his Pete. Maybe, I don't know. I've not seen him do it before. No, I haven't. Definitely believe in a, a yellow, a red up the top to get to the black. You all right, pal? Cheers, Penners. Yeah, can't wait now, mate. Yeah, there's a few going. No, 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 just turn up. Turn up, get a beer and enjoy it. Yeah, we booked in like so. No, the plane now. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Definitely, Neil. More than welcome. Oh. So he's still batting away, Fisher here, but yeah, he's just looking got... at that black a couple of times. I'm not sure if it passes the yellow. I think he's got to take the one in the top left now. This is a bit thin, isn't it, to cut back? Just see if it. Oh, that black goes. Yeah, the black definitely goes. Yeah. But he... 
he wanted to get rid of these bottom end first, so just a good shot, stun it, just pull it back a little bit and then drop in the middle. Oh, he hasn't, he hasn't cleared the yellow. Does the bottom red go in the the one nearest the cushion in the bottom right? Hello there, Zach. Right. Yeah. Right. Hold on a second, Mikey. I'll have a little look on Facebook myself. Hold on. It goes. Nice little stun shot here. He'll take that. He'll take that. Just got to get in good shape on the top side of the red. The black does go in the bottom left. These are big frames. A little bit close to his work to make the cue ball dance. He's just composing himself, giving himself options. Yeah, the black definitely goes. It definitely goes, Craig. Oh, he's found the gap as well. He got a little, oh, he's, has he dropped too short? Could have done without the flick on the yellow. Now this is, does he have to clip this back? Does he take it in the top right? He has to do, and the cue ball's closer to the center on the opposite side of the table. And I'll tell you what, he's played an absolute He's beauty. bang on that. Mikey, I'll sent you a, sent you a message, mate. Shot. I'll sent you a message, Mikey. What a that finish. Was a great finish. And the choir boys are up singing again in the rows. They're loving it. Like that. Yes, Dan, it definitely did go. <laughs> Class clearance from Ryan Clue. It was Ryan. That was a very good finish. That'll that just settle Pete down again. Well, now. He's back within one now. Well, he's back in the mix, isn't he? And uh, a fantastic match to watch, Daz. I honestly think if. if uh, uh, is it like a polished clock? Under the table where he is, where the iron is. Yeah, I think if Pete gets the lead again now, he doesn't lose it again. I've just got that feeling. Yeah, yeah, I, like I say, long match, it's got a lot of twists and turns, and I don't think you've seen the best of him yet. Nah. And I think Gazza's just starting to play, doing stuff he can do. The first hour of this match were very edgy. Yeah, it was. It was a great finish, yes, you're right. The cue ball's in as well. Balls in. This is what Pete Fisher would have wanted. And he needs to send a message sharpish. And looking at them, both sets of balls are there. Both sets are there. For me, <coughs> you probably play the Reds, will you? Oh, Josh says turning point. His first shot's his free shot. There's a case for both colours there. Could just push. I'd be playing the red in you know, the yellow to, towards the bottom left hand corner bucket, then take these three out and play position. You're saying just not push this one down onto this one? No, I'll just play the red. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. then you've not got yeah. anything to do. I mean, yeah, everything yeah, goes, yeah. there's nothing to do. No. Oh. It's just He's going to put this over the middle pocket. Right. And now he's going to play the red into the bottom left. But I would have played the red to the bottom left first because that one is pushed over the middle. Didn't need any work. He did go, yeah. No. So he'll seal the deal on reds and probably play one in the bottom right and screw back and then play the bottom left. Just he doesn't want to take any chances and turn the table over by a, a lackadaisical missed shot. But that one top left is his uh, last ball, really, isn't it? Yep. He'll play the one bottom right and he'll just screw it back. I would have thought. It's hard to see what angle he's got. He probably hasn't got the angle at all, you think. The red, I don't think it goes in the left centre past the yellow. No, it doesn't. So he might... He must play, he must do. He wouldn't have played that if it didn't go in the left centre. 
Oh, you know, it I does, think it yeah, does. Yeah, it does. Didn't look it, did it? Yeah, on so stream, just yeah. keep queuing straight. Yeah. Wow, it flew in. Oh, it flew in. That's why he didn't play that yeah. the first shot, but on our screens it looks... <laughs> looked tight. Yeah, he did. So this shot is key now. Off the bottom rail and back eye. He's got a good bounce. He hasn't gone. He'll probably play this now, does and stun the other red towards the right centre. I'm not sure if he can... Straight back. I'm not sure... I think he can, he can and he'll come straight back off of this. Ask for Shelly on the bar and she'll give you a towel. Oh, what's he done? Uh, what's he done? Just didn't get that shot that I thought he could come back. He just didn't get on it. Just didn't get on the red. Every single time. <laughs> Sometimes someone comes to talk to us, we miss an important part of the frame, don't we? It was a nervous shot, though. It's a lifeline for Gaz. Is, does the yellow next to the black go? Yeah, if it had potted it, it was snookered, so... I think that yellow goes next to the black as well, doesn't it? Yep, we've noticed that, Neil. We're all right, mate. Thanks. You're on your own. Top man. Yeah, we've noticed it's a bit tentative on his finish at the moment, but listen, once that rocket launches, either player can just boom, bang. John. Fitzy just said um, when he Pete was in yesterday practicing cut break. All ah, right, he's gonna play the skill here. Well, this will be the first skill shot of the night. This well, he's a good skilly, doesn't miss these. No, he doesn't miss them. And that just opens, it unlocks the door. It's a very good shot to have in your armory in it. Skilly, yeah, when you can, you're playing with bottom to reverse, yeah. to, reverse the top to the, uh, the object ball. I don't think he's going. Don't blame him either, really. Especially when you can get the white there. Well, the yellow near the black for me probably doesn't go. Let's have a, um, well, it looked like it did. Let's just have another top down. It looks like it's tight to the it's black. Very tight, yeah. This is not easy to get out of. Yeah, we're not sure, Jaden. I don't think he can get around the back of that. <laughs> I thought he was playing a DF then. I thought we changed rule set. Yeah. Oh, he's hit it. He's hit it. But he's killed the red. It's unlucky. It's a great shot, but not the result he wanted. Nice tap on the table then from Gaz. Yeah, it just buys him a little bit more time, though. Pretty sure uh, Jordan having a quick word with Gaz yeah. then. <laughs> you might see Gaz flicking off the yellow near the black off the left-hand side of it. But uh, Gaza's right hand side. Yeah. And then just dropping it back in the cluster. Trying not to leave a one rail out. But it opens what it up. What if I just flicking off? I was going to say just flicking yeah, off just, the yellow. Just dead weight it yeah. just so it sticks yeah. after it goes around the back of it. Like that. Well, he might have left the one railer. He might have left this, you know. But for me, it's a must pot for Peter. And it's in. It. Wow. Now be careful of the cue ball. He's down quick. He is down He's very down quick. quick. He's got it. Wow. Wow. He's wow. bumped up now. They're going mental. That was careless. That's what I said. Play the shot, but you have to stick behind it so you don't leave a one. That is an unbelievable finish from Pete. to do it.
Sorry about that, I haven't swapped. You'll see it, the crowd are getting behind Pete now massively. Yes, he was pumped up here, he did a little jig there, didn't you? He was really Peter? pumped up after yeah. that finish, and I can't say I blame him, to be fair. Been a bad boy chiller crew on now and he loves this. Look what a frame that he needed to get, you know, it levels the devils. That was huge. Hopefully that gets him going, Andy. Yes, he needed that, didn't he? he? Needed it. He's like Ricky. He's playing it at all times. I do at all times, but he's like he's not totally all weekend, what's really he's quite hungry and he's been sending up from Mitchell and getting bumped with it. Right, buddy. Eleven all now. He's overrun that one, you know. Can he get this out without going in off after flicking the yellow? Yeah, it's close. It's very, very close. This white ball's going to be close, you know. Looking it's for danger zone. Topping it as much as he can. It's a great show if it comes off. It's flirting with it. Get the chance. Thank you, bud. Thank you. <gasps> Did I do that? No, me. I did that oh, all by myself. It just missed it. Very interesting, that one is. Yeah. Back in the mix. <coughs> mm. Mm. Yeah. Practice is a little bit different, isn't it? You're a bit loose, free flowing, but it's a bit more tense, yeah. It's going to be close. Great game. Just a touch. Just a touch. Yeah, it's a big bear. You've got to bet, haven't you? Alex Woodhouse, I'll, yeah. uh, I'll vouch for you, fella. <laughs> no doubt about that. So you're, yeah, you're the guarantor. Well, I'll guarantee that. But yeah, if uh, whoever's had that bet with Alex, he's uh, honest as the day is long. As long as it's only two hours in a day. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> he's good. one 25 quid my word who's worried about a 25 pound bet but yeah whoever's taken that bet Alex is good he's more than good for it so it's getting to that point the night each frame really matters now Virtually the halfway point.
Pete's just having a good think here. He hasn't got a go, obviously. He's gone for a good white. He hasn't got a... Oh, it's not terrible, but... Very tough finish on Reds, if and when he comes back to the table. Spread. Yeah, uh, I was. I've turned yours off. You're back on. We are back on. Very difficult. Reds now. Pete's on Reds. Yeah, just got to play containing again. Probably come off the bottom rail and stick on the the red. He's going to fetch this into play. Got to be careful because there's only one bad ball for uh, for Gazan where the yellows are. <coughs> He's got to play the one at the bottom if he can hit it and fetch it into play, hasn't he? He's saying not a total, Pete, there. So, Rex yeah. had a quick check. So, he can just flick off this one. He's, he's put a bit of swaz on that, hasn't he? I wouldn't have fetched it right into play like that. He, on the bonus side, he's killed another yellow. So, he's asked the question of, of Gaz here. It's not a bad shot. It's turned out all right, hasn't it? Yeah, it's come out nice. She's back. <laughs> Definitely kicked in. It's getting to that part of the night where the beers are kicking in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that beer. <laughs> yeah. So this is a, a little bit of a tactical game going on. Can you just see the outside of the red, the two reds together? Thin clip. Yeah, you must be able to see the outside of that one. Just dead weight. Well, he's gone. He's gone a bit full blooded at that. that. I thought. Yeah, I, was he trying to plant that? Sure, he was. It's a little Pete. bit uh, tentative that shot for Pete me. To win by four. Yes, Jack. Pete to win by four. A big prediction, but it can happen. Feynoon 23-20 to Fisher. Is that a bit loud? <laughs> Daz says Gaz to win by two. 23 21 feet from Janet Jones. She's in the know, she watches every match. Ricky's mum. It's a great game, Janet. Are you enjoying it, love? And Gaz, but he might even kill the red here, play this off the red. Now then, Pete's got a chance here, you know. Drop this red in the bottom left, leave the angle, and go all out. Just go. One the bottom right and split. I think he has no choice. It's 11 all. It's not. Yeah, but where the balls are, yeah. his second favourite until, yeah. until Gaz he does something like that. Yeah. Gaz has dangled the carrot. Yes. He's dangled the carrot, and I think it's the one that he's got to take. Yeah, Luca, we think this could go distance also. 23 21 says Bossons. Ben says 23 18. Breeze Coles on it. 23 12. <laughs> I tell you, that angle was perfect, wasn't it? Yeah, should have been on that one. I'd have been going for that lap of the gods, yes, but for me, uh, you're early back. enough to just yeah. take it. Yeah, the yellows at the moment in this frame are one to three on, aren't they? The way you look at it, but. He could have nil, but. Mr. Cooper, how are you, pal? <laughs> that shot's gone. Gonna cover the pocket. And he's gonna wait for the split ball. Oh. Bite it. Carrying on long. So 
So Gaz needs a breakout. Could he play this one top right? It's a big shot. Might wait a bit. Plenty of score predictions coming in. Skilly here, he's very good at them. Uh, very rarely he misses one of those. Might be able to thin snick this back now, come off top cushion. No. was nice and thin and he has he's got a, he's just covered it I think he has he's played a nice shot there yeah the guy's just putting him back in again but Pete can play a similar shot and it's a slightly easy snooker this time yeah Wayne well called He's checking this up as well. Oh, he's played to get it out, out. Well, he has asked Gaz the question now. He's had enough of that tip-tappy stuff. that now then as he left Pete the shot I think he has he can check this up off the um, bottom right yeah Jaden oh Lee it's absolutely mobbed it's about five deep there's people standing on the tables right to see the game it is very, very busy. Fishgate played an aggressive shot that there and it's taken in frame. Very nicely done. I don't even know which part here. So Pete on. takes the lead again. So back in the lead is Fisher. It was a long frame, that one. How long yeah. was that last? He just had them two reds, and he played that shot you said. He pushed the red save, and then Pete, in the end, he just decided, right, I'm going to ask you the question and bounce them out. And Gaz missed.
Yes, that is five on the bounce. And the little stars are the stars on the scoreboard will tell you that. Five on the bounce for Fisher. We don't get any easier from here running. to play yellows that's a good shot Peter cheers Matty Lee much appreciated is the confidence growing in the fish cake camp yeah Steve this table got redone yeah, yeah. two weeks ago I believe was it two weeks ago the table got done yeah yeah around about that yeah cheers Steve <laughs> AD tells it like it is. <clears throat> he dropped his shoulder again, again there. Again, yeah. He definitely dropped his shoulder. And these are the finishes that you don't usually see Pete miss. But he definitely did. It's a lifeline for Gaz. But it's been the story of the match, to be fair. No it? worries, Janet. No problem. Yes, Paul, very, very busy tonight. Now, Ryan, we've said that. He seems that'll, just to be, be my last. dropping his shoulder a little bit. No way I'm getting up early in the morning to be. It's uncorrupt. These reds, these reds are not terrible. They stood up on the side saddles over there on yeah, the stools. It's unreal. The 20 deep from the table. This is a good chance for Gaz. It's a long way from Wembley, but you can just get you can <laughs> get ready to buy a ticket, can't you? <laughs> Yeah, to everyone that's sharing it, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Just under the 1,000 viewers now. Hopefully we'll hit the 1K mark by the end of the game. So he's run away with him a little bit, yeah, Danny. He's he? doing a lot of mileage with this cue yeah. ball. He wants these two at the bottom end for last two, though. Yeah, he's played that. Last two. Probably, probably come a little bit further across yeah. than he wanted, but again he's got the blocker ball. What we talked about, the yellow. Yeah. He can play into that off the bottom cushion. Yeah, but you miss it on the way back up, you're in trouble. He's not missing it. No. He don't miss them. Uh, just holds it up a little bit for him. And he, this could be level again. Yeah. Ady says, "Don't forget your black shoes tomorrow. Whatever you do." Yes, and Marvin's your, already and your said it. shirt. <laughs> Marvin's already said he's taking a brown pair. That's another good finish thing. That, that alert, that could have been uh, Peter's. So it's 12 12. Could have been a hell of a lot worse, as AD said before. Yeah, yeah it's, could have been a hell of a lot worse. Them, them five on the trot were massive. Yeah, could have been six. Yeah. Great atmosphere, and, it's, and do you know what? They've been really well behaved as well, haven't they? To be fair, I've got mine ready, polished up, Aidy. 
I've got slip-ons, I can't tie laces. Feet back to straight down the middle. again who am I playing when's that Tom tomorrow oh it's a tournament and it's grand finals in Manchester at Savannah's EBPF finals qualified so I might as well go Definitely putting his arm into it still. <coughs> Same pocket again in or over. That seems loud now. <laughs> okay. That seems yeah, loud. Yeah, no, it's such, just tap that. It's unreal, isn't it? There you go. It does. It goes from like really quiet to yeah. really loud. The way again is Peter. Oh, another bad shot there for Pete. Yeah. He won't be happy with that. Yeah. Can he see that one top left? He can, but it's a tough shot, does. Yeah, it is. He needed to be on the one in the right centre, didn't he? Yeah, that's the one he played. <laughs> I'm not for. sure about that, Kirk. <laughs> it's unreal, isn't it? Just like... Fractions. Yeah. It's a big shot, this. That's a beautiful shot. A little bit unlucky, he hasn't come lower down with kissing that red. So just lost chat there for a couple of seconds, guys. Back on now. He's gone for the gap. I think he's got it, you know. Yeah, he has. You can just now see that, that. So do you play this off top rail, side rail and back out? Or do you try to stun into the red near the board line? <laughs> he's got the angle to do that. It guarantees him on the yellow if he gets full ball. But he hasn't ah, hit full ball. He hasn't hit full ball. He knew straight away as well. He had to catch it full. That's why he could have played... Yeah, Josh says stunning to red. This is a couple of frames that maybe a bit loose. That's the minute he's caught back up and he's kind of relaxed a bit. It's good. Yeah, I don't understand that nah, one because it just leaves him on. It just, just him, on it. him, yeah. It just <coughs> leaves him on the bad ball. I don't know if he was just trying to turn that a bit, I'm not yeah. sure. Mm. You see Gas pulling away to the left hand side of the table after this. I'll tell you what, or close to the left centre. Not far away at all. always the way when you break down as well they just yeah, seem like areas every yeah. single time don't they check these bottom three out on the the red to the top right his last for the black into yeah tom says he should have taken his medicine on that one yep i agree with you Okay, 
fraction short of what he wanted. Yeah. But you fancy Gaston not this in all day yeah. long, don't you? Cutbacks are horrible though, isn't they? Yeah, it's only not even really a cutback. He's there. So Gaz again takes the lead. This is to and fro, this is a seesaw match. Long way to go still, Daz. They're not smart, so we are changing them, but it would have been nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> Hands and shoulders, knees and tucks. Sorry about that. Sorry, Paul. <laughs> Could have got it. Could have got it on downstairs. <laughs> Did you see what happened on that black early on? What happened though? No, but what did he do? Yeah, was someone in front of him or something though? No? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think we've got a break. Yeah, I think the players at 25 frames are having a break. Yeah, I think we've had a little bit of break now. Just uh, give us a comfort break. Back in a sec, guys. That was just about in time. Sorry about that. Got more gears yet? If you if you play no, if you play lucky, I think you would impact it. If you five six clear. Missed. Yeah, he's just missed that yellow over the bottom uh, left. Did Peter? Yeah. Wow. Right, you have to just send, send isn't it? But I'll have to check the area and everything, so. Oh, Gaz was only going yellows there. Hey, look, Paul, how are you? All right. Hi, all right. How's it well. going? A race in the ass. Yeah, it has. Let's miss that. 
Could have been five, six players. Nerves, big pot. I'm I back now, back now, Nick, mate. Yeah, we're back now, Nick. We're back in the house, pal. Tom Cousins, nice to see you in the chat there, pal. This is a tough ask here now, isn't it? Yeah, very. Nice. Reds, not Yellow where it is. He's got, he's got to try and, at some point, play the skill shot, hasn't he? Has to. Got to try and get into so, him at least. Yeah, so has he got has he got big ass, yeah, one into the top left and drop onto the skill. Otherwise, Gaz is one shot away from going for game. Yeah. So sometimes <laughs> take the ball by the horns and, and play it. Pete hasn't, Pete hasn't attempted a skilly today. No. Gaz has had two. Tried to, well, he's two from two long skill is. I think he's thinking here, put the one in the top, flick the yellow onto the yellow, but the yellow will stick. Yeah. So I'm Stop not sure. Dead. He's going to pump this one if he's playing that. Oh, I'll tell you what, has he got away with it? Yes. I'd say he has as well. Tighter than people think, aren't they? <laughs> Like these buckets, yeah. <coughs> Dear Liza. They're more like cups. <coughs> yeah, no problem, Nick. You're better off watching it at home, mate. Yeah, got yeah. A good, got a good view. You have got the best view in the house, it's, to be fair. It's rammed. If you haven't been in early, you can't even see the table from the centre of the club. Yes. 20 deep from the table. Fill zone. Seeds of his own. Yep, yeah, that's the way he does. That, I tell you what, I thought he'd missed that for a minute yeah, then. Is it too? That could it? Oh, it must have been a. He was total snooker there, wasn't he? Yes, he was, yeah. <coughs> Cheers, Mike. Much appreciated. Now then, Pete, he's got a chance here. Oh, he's covered it. He wanted to lead them. He might be able to play the top, top red yeah, and then can. play the skill shot at the same time. But it's what... Then he's got a plant. If he sticks the yellow in, he's got the red up the rail and the big pocket with the red over the top rail. So this is a key shot now. He needs to be knocking the yellow in as well. Oh, he's missed it. He's missed it. 13 12 to Gaz. How many viewers? It's, down, it's been up at 900 most of the night. He's a bit hampered to play the skill shot, isn't he? Yeah. That's, I keep mentioning this skill shot, but. I can't see how he can win the yeah, frame. Yeah, he can't, he can't. Without one, he can't, can he? No. Now. Less hampered, but not a good angle. He has to play it now. Got to, yeah. The middle of the three reds. And it's deep enough in the in the shell, isn't it, for it to go in. He's rolling this. I'll be playing it with a little bit of bottom. He's OK. It's his first skilly. Yes. He's how does he get onto the top red? Yeah, he's... That's why I'd have played it with bottom and I'd have left myself on the one on the rail, then the one in the bottom right. Then you to, get, up. to get out, yeah. yeah. <coughs> Thanks to everyone that is sharing the stream. It's much appreciated. So, he's got to play some shot here. He's got to drop between the two yellows in the centre of the table and leave that sort of angle. Could do with a little bit more, and he's okay there. It's a little nip. He's got, but when he plays it, he's gonna play with rakes aside. He's gonna get top side of the yellow near the head spot. It's a tough shot. This, but it's a chance. Yeah. 
He's pulled out of the shot. Pulled out of that shot. Just not queuing as freely as he normally does. Started to just get that cue ball where he wants it. Vast majority of the time now. Cheers, Josh. Glad you're enjoying it, mate. He's going to be playing the left centre, obviously, now, and the yellow into the right centre. He's landed the right angle, hasn't he? So yeah, he can just he drop this. He should be in good shape. To the bell tower. So he's played that nice. to a two-frame lead by the looks of things. Yes, this match has had everything. It really has. And you feel since Pete got level, he's, he, he should have been them two frames where he is. But early on in the match, Gaz did the same thing. So, yeah, maybe it's fair. Yeah, Nick, uh, Pete's normally as smooth as they come, but just noticed tonight he's just got a bit of a bit of a chicken wing yeah he's dropped his shoulder a few times into the shot and it's cost him as well plenty of time yet Ooh, there's plenty of play left in this match The ref's not had any difficult calls yet, has he, tonight? It's he's done well as Ricky's uh, yeah. he's kept a good house, hasn't he? So yeah. It's been and, uh, quite, players easy, are happy. quite an easy game for him so far. Yeah. <coughs> Pete straight down the middle again. Yes, he gets balls off the front break. He does. I was surprised, like you said, we keep talking about it. Has he got a free ball plant into the bottom corner to start it off? Reds onto the yellows and take him out. Can he get through there? I think he has to turn no, that a bit can't. from that angle. He can't. Yeah. You want yellows, don't you? You definitely want yellows. Big one bottom right, first shot. Well, there's a big shot to play that, but uh, he might want to seal the deal on yellows. He's going to play off the yellow onto the reds. Gonna come out and it hasn't. Again, he's been unlucky because he's played a great shot there, you know, because he always knew he had the one over the right centre. He was always yeah. gonna go back to the table. So he's been a little bit unfortunate to tie the uh, the yellow up. Oh man, Nick, can you imagine? Imagine well, you've played for a decent pot, so I, yeah, I couldn't imagine playing for this sort of money. He's got the angle now. He can play into this bad yellow after this one to the left centre. It's just what it offers him after yeah. the shot. It's not.
So again, he's missed the split. So you have to sometimes bail out of it. Uh, he, he can just flick off this yellow and just not open up the pocket and just kill the red a little bit. I don't know what else he can offer. There's no double on if he gets that far with it. So you might as well sort of say, look, your turn. Down, to, down to you. Like. <laughs> yeah, your turn. Good, isn't it? Definitely. Double to corner. Off red. Oh my word, we've got loads of uh, shot choices coming in now. Double to corner off red. Double to bottom corner off red. Do you mean if there's enough gap? <coughs> if there's enough gap underneath the red? Yeah, that's a good shout. All uh, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good shout. But I think the yellow does fit under there, but that's got to be millimetre perfect. Yeah, it's, that. it's high tariff, is that? But him, I don't know what else he's got. He's, gonna, he's surely not going to pump this up and try and screw back and split. It's not going to happen. That's nah. What about the yellow off the red in the middle on up and down? And try and dislodge. Yeah, it's. But the red's in the middle to the table blocking him. It's a tough one. We'll leave that to Pete. Yeah, rather him than me. Maybe the right shot is the double off the red. It's a thin snip back though, isn't it? Well, drop the one in the middle and then double it oh, off, then off double the it. bottom right. rail, okay, off right. the red into yeah, the corner. Yeah, yeah. It right. leaves you a shot off the, the top yellow, off the red again in the centre. Either way, he's, he's in a lot of trouble, isn't he? Let's have a look at that gap. Well, is he playing now? Yeah, he's playing now, so I'll leave the camera where it is. Yeah, he's definitely he playing, playing, playing the shot that. the lads have called. Let's have a look top down. Yep, that's the shot. So it's a big shot, this. Oh, he, he hasn't, he's hit it too hard, to be fair. He's hit it hard and it's like made the shot harder. He had to play it sort of dead weight-ish. Well, just play it dead weight because then you've got a pocket. But. Yeah, so now it's advantage reds again. What was that, Phil? <laughs> he's just saying he's not rushing. That's a good shot. That's a good shot because he's uh, he's killed the yellow. Yeah. But he's made the red a little bit more difficult. Can he get back into it again now? Might be able to. No. He's on need it. To. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't he's need to. Yeah, he's played on it. It's a good shot. Looking like Gaz in front by three again. Yes. Just gets ever so more difficult for Pete. Every frame's a winning frame. Can't see a lot going wrong here, Daz. No, nothing at all. The gap is winding. <laughs> I think it already is. So this to open up a free frame lead for Gareth Higgins. And there it is. Biggest gap there's been. He's been three all night. Yeah. He's got the work to do again. Yeah, Pete's done this work once. It's he weird can't. if you look at the stars, five in a row, four in a row. Yeah, can't keep doing it. P 
feet. Needs to get his uh, act together now. Don't yeah. let him get away from me too far. We all know it's in there. His dad just turned up. <coughs> you all right, Paul? How are you, mate? You good? Happy New Year. Hey, love. You all right? Yes, we're ready. It'll be lovely, won't it? They're all saying, they're all saying now how they got there, but we haven't played bad. <laughs> no. These are the finishers that Fisher gets got to, yeah, every yeah, day of the got week. To take these, he's got to start putting them together. That's better. It's a big shot for Peter, this. Might just glance the yellow on the way out. Not on it. I don't think he's on the red. No, I don't think he is. He might either. be able to play off the yellow. But this has been the story of his game. He's been in the winning positions. Yeah, at this level, if you're potting balls, you're in trouble. You miss your finish, you get punished. Yeah. He's got a chance this. He might swerve this and he might just flick off the yellow. That's a great shot. What about a great shout? It wasn't a bad shout either. <laughs> I'll give you it. He needed that. He needed that, did the fish cake. He did. Back within two. Was that a break dish? It was. Was it a dish for the fish? to come. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we took some of it. Yeah, I've took some of it. Yeah. Big ask is that, isn't it? Three starts, a big start. But he's, he's, he's okay at the moment, isn't he? Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, if he gets to 20, yeah, I think so. I think. Feet going straight down again. Yeah. Dry from Pete this time. I know. We missed that ball, that Peter's break. Dry break, yeah. Dry break. Look at them. Yellows look pretty good from there. You've still got to get him, but you'd expect him to. Yeah, I'm quite shocked by the amount of dishes, but you've got to remember this is match ball now. This isn't practice. Give it here, that's the one who uh, Which one? He's just walking through there now. It was. <coughs> so yellows for guards and a big chance. He 
Yeah, 28 frames and five red dishes with these, mm -hmm. the standard these two play at. Yeah. It's pretty low for these two, isn't it? Yeah, they've had two, well, reverse each as well, but yeah, you'd expect higher. He's playing a nice pace. I thought he was going to drop behind the red when he played it, but he's played it lovely. It's match ball, though, isn't it? You, you, you turn them down sometimes when they're yeah. there. Gaz does seem to be queuing just fluent, and he? he just... He's just the same pace all yeah. the time. He doesn't yeah. change, does he? Yeah, uh, Ryan, I get that, but there should have been a lot more reverses in that case, and there's not been. Yeah. Yeah, you always get the solid game from Gaz. You know what you're getting. This is a big chance to open up a three-frame lead again. He's played that nice. really nice and close to his work yeah, yeah. there. How do you play this then, Daz? Oh. He'd like to play it off the rail and back between the gap. And I just don't know if that black... That's what he's oh, looking he's going for. going in there. Yeah, that's what he's looking for. It just looks yeah. off a, off angle, yeah, but it might just, not be. Just drop this. Yeah. But it's not a massive gap, but I do expect him to find it. Yeah. Referee getting out of the way. It's a delicate shot. He just stunned towards the, the red. He's lost the white. He has lost that. That he's does not go. I don't get that shot. If you uh, get that angle, then Maybe that angle's around. deceiving, you know. I thought he was going to come right back well, out. Well, even on our screens now, it looks like he can clip the black. But not in. But I don't know, you know. Yeah, it's... But it's a tough shot off the rail anyway. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, cheers, Ryan. Thanks for that. Get yourself in the commentary seat, mate. You're more than welcome. No, no. Steady anyway. He can't go because he would have played it by now. Yeah, he would. But can he see enough to make contact with it? I'm not sure he can. Well, he can where he's playing it. Has he got a double? I'm not sure he has. That red's in the way, surely. Gone for a decent wide. So he's just sort of said, there you are, Pete, what you got? For me, I'd be flicking off the red and sticking right behind it. Ah, just thin, yeah. nice and thin. Yeah, that's what Pete's going to do. More eight, thank you very much, mate, honestly. Yeah, that's a good shot. Yeah. <coughs> Gaz had one of these earlier, though, and he fluked one, didn't he? He had a red light this earlier and he fluked it, so can he do the well, same? Well, listen, whenever you give a player of this standard another shot, he'll find your something. hearts in your mouth. The deli belly's going. He's going for this full blood into the bottom left. He's missed it by a long way. Now then, Peter Fisher, this is the shot the chances that you've got to be taking especially at this level yeah you've got to get back in the hot seat having a chat having a chat with someone there or is it just having another thing just have a look he's got the cat to no, he's when the player won't move he's gonna play it over the bottom but i think kind of play. Uh, he's, he's splitting up the bad balls he's but. missed yeah. That so it wasn't the right Ooh. shot, was it? Because it was over the middle and then play the one in the bottom corner, split the bad balls, save save it over the middle, should it not come out for the other red. But now it's uh You think way too fast, you but that's the way he should have played. Yeah. He might he might not go here now. Uh well listen, when he if he does go, he's got to have a little bit of luck on his side as well. I mean, he can afford to play this and split the bottom one out. They split the other reds, and he's, he'd be, he's going to leave some sort of safety if he doesn't come out. Still, uh, he's, he's always going to have a shot, but it, it's an harder finish than it should have been. It's definitely not easy, but it's still there.
got to be careful on these shots. I mean, he, he'll play this and he'll just try and nudge the red up, I would have thought. I don't I still think, think, I don't I, think he's going to go. Well, you know. he can't be snookering there because he'll ease the one rail, the black in the middle. I think he's going to not pot this. And I'll tell you what, that must be a plant. And, and that plant, will the red knock the other red out? Yeah. Knowing he's going to be on the red in the bottom right. I didn't think he was going to go. But like yeah. you say, he's that standard. You can't leave a one cushion, can you? He keep giving them pops here. One day it goes in. That's okay. Yeah, he can. That's okay. He'd like to have been a little bit higher up and to, to play the shot and get on another rail first. Screw this so he, he wants to be where the black is. He's under it. it. He's under it, that. Now it's not easy. <laughs> he has played <laughs> he's played that really well oh I'll tell you what <laughs> he likes to pump you, that, that shot before was something special he might give it the big end because this has turned out a nice finish he's composing himself there somebody must have said something he's taking his time yeah Michelle said that someone was trying to get in his head didn't she mm. Back with him one again. Back with him one, and back comes the fish, like a piranha. Was a fantastic a shot fish. between the two there. Are you dares Winsville? That was a good finish from where he was. A lot of working out to do. But it's there. He's got that. He's got that in uh, behind him. He's got that firepower. Yeah. And Gaz made the mistake. <laughs> if you look back and you see the frames that you've won, what you could have lost, there's going to be a lot. Oh, there's huge. It's close, isn't it? Yeah, Scott, he is. He's some. So this is Gaza's cut break again, lads. It's well controlled cut break. He makes a ball. When it works for him, it's pretty good. He's in with the screen team. Brilliant, mate. Yeah, it is. It's tense. Yeah. Yeah, it's, none of them are really. No, no. I have not seen Jeff Allen Gaz. Not seen him tonight, mate. All right, Paul. How are you? We're all right, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers, Luke. Gaz just looks amazing when he's just floating around like he does. Just effortless, isn't he? Have you? <laughs> yeah, this is like, he's just a little bit hampered here. But it, does the yellow at the top of the two stuck together, does it go? Yeah, it does. He does where he's played that. Yeah, it does, without a doubt. But... I think the angle he's got, he's running away from it, isn't he? Yeah, so he'd like to be a little fraction higher, wouldn't he? would have to drop this in dead weight. Yeah. And like leave the white ball on the side rail. So it's a delicate little shot. It's a little bit tricky. Yeah. Can he get enough on it to play at a two railer? Tight in the jaws, uh, not in the jaws, but bottom rail, side rail and back between. Bob Yellow in the centre, in the left centre. Oh, I tell you what, he's got away with that a little bit because he, caught, he caught the red. 
Uh, he has, he's perfect. He caught the red in it, run off it. But it's a nice finish. That's uh, a dish from Gaz. Just when you thought it was safe to go in the water. Yeah, the bucket brigade's back at it. Missed a few to say the bucket's good. <laughs> Come and have a play on it, Kirk. I always like it when people say they're buckets, and then can't put a ball on it. Each to the own. Looks like we've gone for a little break, guys. Do apologise if the stats aren't quite right, but it's been a long night. Yeah, like I say, Kurt, come and come and have a play on the table. It's, uh, I can assure you, it's far from buckets. Yeah, it can happen, Kurt. I've seen it a million times, pal. <coughs> Table's pretty much new cloth on, so it'll play a little bit easy. So, referee just giving the table a once over. Hey! You're kidding. Can't see what? What's on eat? Yeah, I guess it has it. It's on eat. It's red hot. Yeah, but it's on eat. It's red hot. With an intermission. It's almost sat on that, 18. I'm just pushing up and down to make it extend it to that. No, turn it Tom's is always good. Hey, Reese, how is it going? Yeah, all good. You enjoying it? Been a good game. Uh, uh, yes. We got the fishers in now. As you've spoken to him, how's he feeling? Uh, just tense, isn't it? He? He's saying he doesn't seem to be like, he seems to be like pulling out of it. Still a long way to go, really. Yeah, still a long way to go. Yeah, so the uh, Fisher twins were just up then, and uh, they're saying that just not eating it as clean as he can, but still a bit of a still a bit of a way to go. Right, we'll not be long. Shouldn't be long now. Yes, Danny, nice set of lads.
Yeah, I don't know, Kurt, but yeah, get yourself up here, mate. You versus Danny. Danny loves the game. He does, Alex, I agree with you. <clears throat> Plenty of people saying that um, Gaz has got another gear as well. And I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't argue with him on that. I don't think either player has played their best. <laughs> I didn't know you was a comedian, Kev. Keith Towler. How are you, oh, mate? Sorry, guys. Blast from the past, mate. Glad you're enjoying it, Keith. The sheep are still on the tables and the referee's back in the room. Yeah. We're under, going to be underway again very, very soon. Fisher to break. He needs that break to start working for him. He's had his chances, so has Gazan, but Gazoo's on top at the moment. Well, we got a two-frame lead again. I did say if Pete got back in front, he'd stay in front, but he didn't. No, he just seemed to get in front and he just was 12-11 up, wasn't he? A couple of finishes that you'd expect him to get that he didn't. It's been the story of the match, hasn't it? Yeah, 12 11 up, and then Gaz yeah. goes and wins the next four. Yeah, I don't think either of them's on the game. No. Nah. To the ability that they can play. No, no, no. Crack. There's been dish, some brilliant stuff. Dish count says that. Yeah. Really. Yeah, well done. Well done, Kurt. Well done, Dan. You two agree it privately, mate. And uh, let's get on and watch this great game. Dry. Easy. Easy. Well, it's, it's nice, but we still want the result. Gazzo's away as first. Yeah, dry from Pete again. The dry bricks can haunt you. They can kill you. They can cost you. That's not too bad, you know. He's got a shot in the top left. He's got one in the top left and he's going to put him onto the. Does he? Does go, he's just looking at the bottom right, yeah, well. Where it goes from. It's getting close to the, uh, the business end of yeah, the match. Yeah, it is now. Cheers, Kurt. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kurt. It is the business end, Chris. Every frame's a valuable one now. Cheers, Lee. I don't think he's 100% sure about this in the bottom right, you know. You might see him playing the one... He's got to play in the bottom right, surely, as well, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. it does go. It's just whether or not it flicks off the red yeah. and goes goes into Dead an awkward... Weight, it, yeah. right. He's missed it. He has. But it's not a bad miss, is it, really? Nah, in or over was good Again, enough, it's weren't the, it? The, the pressure's massive on Pete here. You've got to be very careful now because <laughs> it's like Adrian's wall, them yellows. They just sat there waiting to pick it off. But as Pete got something to give here, can he go inside the red near the right centre? Off the rail and nest on the top red, over the right, top right. So is that going to be a full ball this one? No, inside of that one, off the rail, All right. and rest the white In on that there. one at the top. So I'm not sure then if he leaves it. About if, there. If, if, yeah, if he leaves a shot or not, I'm not 100% sure he can still see the bottom. But it could be a full ball snooker at that. Well, it's hard on our TV monitors In to is, see that. In but, off is asking for trouble. But as if, well, it's full, it? if it is a full ball, then I feel he, he might have to play that. Maybe there's a so gap. You're talking leaving them. the white on there. Well, it's a tough. It's a tough wherever he is. Is that where in this situation is in? Yeah. There's no finish there. He's got to sort of save the game. Oh. 
Double in off yellow, says Josh. In off, double off the yellow, where's that? Double Must off. be one of the bottom bags. Double in off the yellow. <coughs> I'm not Must think, be bottom think, left. Yeah, that. I don't think there's enough gap back of the yellow on the bottom left. He had something similar double earlier on, didn't he? Top down. Ooh, Ooh. Close. Ooh. You all right, Paul? Are you well? Good man. And Nick is in the house. You know, if that hadn't gone, it wouldn't have been too bad. But it's tough from here. It was an easy out anyway, wasn't it? So he's double for your trouble. It looks like he's going, shooting his son into the wind here. No, shame we don't no, think there is a finish. That's I the trouble. He needs something big to happen. That's bought a bit of time on the bottom end, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. So, I think that was his intention. Did he play off this red that is yeah, top I can down see and get behind it? I think, I think he's going to try and make something happen. Oh. I think he's going to try and make something get happen. back down here now. Yeah. 100 mile an hour shot. Well, if he, get, if he gets a good contact off the side rail onto the bottom red and flicks it out, then the other two yellows have a chance. Though so this is it, it's not happened. But he's got a little bit of a mess of them. Right, it's finished yeah, in the middle. Yeah. Well, big ask is this. This will be some finish, won't it? Mm. Oh, is he doubling this? I'll yeah, tell you yeah. what, he's still shooting. He has got a shot here. If he gets these, he'll honestly the, take the roof off. Yeah, it will. <laughs> I was going to say, the crowd take will go mental if he gets these. Yeah. It's a nuts finish, is this? Does it just go easy enough behind here? It does. I'll tell you what. He's man. got them, isn't he? If he gets these, it's going to probably be the best finishes I've ever seen. I might turn the volume down here. Long, long time. This is the shot. He's got it. He's missed it. No, he ain't. Got it. He got it. That is some finish. Never there. That is absolute top draw. Class. Oh, look at that. <laughs> he's, a, he's on a bogo stick. That was mental. That was some finish. Well, if that don't give you confidence and belief, he needs then to just, what does? Yeah. That was unbelievable. That was 11 out of 10, wasn't it? One of the best finishes I've ever seen. And Facebook and YouTube go mental. Yeah, and so is the crowd. I hope referee covers my tables up whoever wins this match after. Absolutely one for the archives, that one, isn't it? <coughs> Unbelievable scenes. Yeah. Is there a better word than brilliant for that? <coughs> Gaz has taken it well, now he's got a big smile on his face. Gaz just not phase, he no. just gets on with it. Nothing bothers him, does it? No. He won't surprise me if he bounces back with a break dish. Look at these. What a massive break that is. Can he see the first yellow clear enough? Does the one cut back to the bottom left? It does, but it's not an easy one. That's, that's going to take some getting up on that finish. That was massive. I yes, said he was trying uh, to make something happen, and he did. <laughs> he's off for the plant, is Gaz. Yeah, if he gets it, it's on, isn't it? Yeah, it's not an, not an hard plant for him, is it? Ooh, I tell you what, he's lost the white. He has lost it. He's on yellows, Can and he, he hasn't got a shot. Plant? Oof, that's tight he's from close. there. Oops, sorry, colour's wrong. Is that another turn in the twist and turn in this match? Is it another chapter in the book? Jason Hill says, unbelievable, Jeff. It was Jason. Absolutely unbelievable finish. Pete needed that finish, didn't he? He needed to get that adrenaline yeah, pumping. Yeah, he did. But this is another frame and Gaz is in the driving seat. He might be able to plant this, you know. Just play with a little bit of side to turn the yellow over. Got it. Like that. No shot. Oh, he's landed awkward. I think it still clicks back. 
Oof. I think it clips back. Yeah, but but the white ball is going to be travelling. It's anywhere. Gonna be, yeah, it's going to he's going to hope for a nice kiss. He's got to hope. He's oh, is he be, cutting this back? Yeah, he can. He's going to be running to those two reds. Yeah. But he's got to get the pool gods on his side for this one. So it's a thin snip, and the cue ball is going anywhere. He's got a shot, you know, he's played it well. He has, and the Reds going to rescue him as well. He's got a shot. He's this one shot, and the Blacks are given. Very nice finish too, this. This would be a good reply. Yeah. Got it. Missed it by a while. Wow. Wow. Has the fish king How has he missed him? that? Has he been rumbled? I agree, Bry. I agree. It's not the Pete Fisher that we know. But now, this is a finish that he needs to plant the seed, <laughs> take does. it out with authority. Back to levels again, yeah. then. 100%. And then you're back in the mix. He might even play safe here. If them two reds at the top, he might just stick him behind you. But for me, you've got to commit. He's going to get a bounce there, you know. Still okay. He's got to be careful. Yeah, he doesn't want to leave them last no, two. He's got to play. It's those two reds, and it's hard to see if it goes clean enough. The way he's played that tells me yes, it does. He's going to nick the other one, though, he's on the way to back. He's got to this and screw off the other red, hasn't he? Yeah. Oh, is he looking at just taking these two? No, I think he's got to play it now while he's on it. They give him half a chance, don't they? Them other yeah, two. them two other balls give him a chance to drop on them. He's not going to play, but for me, he feels he might be able to get a better position. He's a bit twixt in between here, isn't he? I say, after that finish, he just took out. Yeah. He's trying to make doubly sure, which is fair play. But he's no better off there. You know, I mean, he's in the same position, really. Yeah, he is. And we've seen these. Catch a bit thick. He's puffing the cheeks. He's got a clean... Can he screw clean out of there? I think he can, just. He has done. It was a nice little dainty shot, that. <laughs> yeah, for me. Well, to be honest, he can nip it back. He's got options here. Keep that shoulder straight. Oh, he's behind the black. No, he's all right. Just. Oh, I thought he was going behind just the Just all right there. That's a nice little shot for Peter. Will he give it the big fist pump? Oh, you should this? do. Levels again now. Yeah. It's been a great game. It's gone this way, that way. Oh, he hasn't even looked. No. <laughs> Wow, guys, 16 all. <laughs> Gaz looked a bit rumble there, didn't he? Yeah. I'm very surprised he missed that yellow. Lucas, how you, pal? Come back to the cup break. Hey? In the other wardrobe? There is. I know there is, there's a bag of them.
Do it for William. Do it for Yorkshire. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a big chance here as well. Oh, he's just caught the black there, and that just makes it awkward. Does the red still go in the right centre? No. No. Goes top right. Well, he needed right. to run past that. Yeah. This is more turns in this match than I've seen in any match. Good night, pal. All good, mate. It's going bottom right. Sixteen all. Oh, wow. Nice kiss. Back back. He's had a nice little there. flick there, but he will do one of those. Yeah. He hasn't had many, has he? Nice little flicks, but probably were the balls, Tim. Now then. There. It's natural, isn't it? If you if you go long, you're still on it. If you go high, you're still on it. Hello, Lucas. How are, I hope you're okay, young man. Like a race of seven for 24 bags, you're not wrong, Josh. Yes, Mark, you're right, Mary's, but not when it's for 24 grand. Crazy, isn't it? Crazy. He's the other way. That needs a bit of luck there, you know. He's got it. He's got it. He's absolutely bang on it. Jesus. So lucky. He's had two nice flicks in this race. He has, but he's had his fair share and not the best run. Are you enjoying the match, Lucas? Tournament for you tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, he says he's ready. He's ready. Oh, he's, I tell you what, that's confidence, that, because he could have got closer. And it's ain't easy. Well, it's a pump into the top left and stun off the side rail. But it's played. Nice, though. Yeah. This fish came back, looks like it. It started queuing a little bit better yeah. there, hasn't it? So. It's the fish cake we, we know. Cheers now. He's Cheers, back Phil. In front. Wow, back in front for the first time in how long? Yeah. Uh, 17 wow. 16 fish cake. The 12 crowd 12. Go wild. Good man. Yes, I agree, Paul. 100%. Definitely loosened up at the right turn. Great atmosphere. I've just got bad vision from that if you're all jumping in. Yeah, cheers, James. It's back on now. It's go, probably better again. that it's off, to be honest. Gas to break. It gets that corner ball Every so many time. times, doesn't it? So many times. He's a bit decent, Jack. Yeah. Uh, so they're both, Gaz, they're to both be fair. good. They're both good. It is a, a good level match. But it's Pete who's got the initiative at moments. moment. He is Keith. But don't write Gaz off as well yet. Uh, he's he's, been got, by he's got plenty left to give. He's, he's not been at his best either, to be fair. And Pete's just showing signs of brilliance at the right time, maybe. Yeah, he needs to keep his foot down now, doesn't he? Yeah. Is that yellow past the red into the bottom right? This one. Yeah, him. Oh, it's not, no, he's going reds. Well, to be fair, reds are the balls, aren't they? Yeah, reds it is. Let me see. 
There's only two more eye stools, but I don't know if they use them. Yeah, but only the eye ones if they're spare. Not, not a little black one. All right, you'll have to have a look. Yeah, you know it's a busy club when people are asking if there's any more chairs available. Get, get interiors. He's been in the other room for a profit. Oh, he's, oh, he's at the cameras. He's at the cameras. Again, now then, Peter. All Supremes do it. Well, wow. big chance for Pete this. Mapping his finishing out. Feels like Working Pete's his patterns out before he takes the first shot. It's the right thing to do. Feels like Pete's getting that little bit of run now, doesn't it? It feels like something's turned. Yeah. And that's not in a disrespectful way. It's just the way the game's gone. It's to and fro, to and fro. Feel this finish is it's a big finish as well in the context of the game. Has Pete ever been too clear? Yeah. He has. Two yeah. nil. Two nil, yeah. Well there you go then. <laughs> right at the very start. <laughs> Two nil yeah. right at the start. Yeah. <coughs> He'd love to be able to. It could he bump that red away near the. Uh, it must go in the middle. If he's played that, that must go in the middle. I thought that yellow went top left. Yeah, it didn't, and I thought yeah. I'm thinking bump the red between yeah. the two yellows and hold it for that <coughs> for the one in the bottom right. But the way he's played that tells me it's in the middle. Like that. He has yes. So this shot's key now. This is the feeder ball. Good position on this for the penultimate yellow. How you going, pal? How are you? Good to see you, mate. So a good positional shot and your fancy feet to take it away. Just lost the white there. Oh, it's no pretty. If it had been on the top ball, he, yeah, he would, he either one, it. yeah, he would yeah. have took it. I'm not, I don't think he's on it. He's just come away. And that's the one he's played for, hasn't it? But he's still got a chance here. Yeah, he can do similar sort of shot He again. needs to be on this left-hand side rail after that. Again, he needs to stop. he's just going to bounce. Yeah. He's, He's probably got a chance here. Let's have a look. It looks very, He's got a very close. 17, 16, Pete. I think this might drop in. That's in. Now then, this is not an easy black, but that was a great yellow. How's your queuing? It's another good. big shot, and it'll be another big finish. Trust should he get it? Trust your technique here. Just pot the thing. Well, you've got. It's just a send the ball shot and concentrate 100 percent on the pot. Stay still. Keep your arms still. Head still. Everything still. Nice walk. I can't as well. keep still. Oh, I'm <laughs> terrible. It's a big shot, Liz. Sin. Sin. Killed it like Davies. He's swagging. Another great finish. Oh, cheers, buddy. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll tell you what, he's turned up. On a couple of the really big shots, he has turned up, isn't he? <clears throat> well, the three starts looking pretty good at the moment. Wow. Over 11 reviewers, that's pretty good. Brilliant numbers.
Yeah, over 1,100 viewers. Fantastic numbers for us. Get it shared, guys. No, we've uh, just got one. Send us a friend oh, request. So subscribe to us on YouTube and click that notification bell. Yeah, it's Gaz who's got the pressure on him Come now. On, and it's Pete's break. A big break from the front. He's and nailed he's the ball. One. He nailed two yellows, and the black's got in as well. Oh, all over again. I'm not going to say a word, but we all know what happens after you pop the black, uh, black off a break. You get a golden break and a, <laughs> and a duck. A yeah. quack, quack. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> I, I get that, Phil. <laughs> it was a big break as well, Lou, that wasn't it? <clears throat> I don't know, Grimmy. It's an internal bet in the club. Probably don't want to release any names on that one, to be fair. Crowd really oh, getting behind the Pete now. Behind you now. He's made a ball, and I'll tell you what, has he got a chance? He's got Look a chance. Look at these. Look at these, and he'll be loving it now, Peter. I feel this is what Pete needed. He just needed a bit of run. <clears throat> Well, table table looks horrible, horrible now. <laughs> he run, for yeah. me, he don't have to run through, but I want to run through. The, everything's in the open. It's a turnaround. We said that between and from. He's buzzing now. Look how fast he is around the table. He's in stroke. He's, he's still got to put it together. He's still got to be. He's still got to be focused. Even though they're easy, because he's, he's queuing well now, is Peter. But you've still got to rein it in. You've got to treat every frame like it's a nail in the coffin. Kill it off. No prisoners. Every frame's a winning frame. That's mint. He's played that absolutely perfect. Absolutely mint. And he'll be giving it the big enough to this. Oh, don't oh, celebrate until you point it. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, he's jumping around. He's loving it now. Oh, I don't like it when they celebrate before they put in the black, though. That's a break dish as well. That would did not take. That was the shortest frame of the night by a country mile. And Gaz has got some work to do to get him back he because has. now he's in the mood. And it is very close to the business end. Yeah, we knew it had come. <laughs> we knew it had come at some point in the match. And it's just happening. Since he took that amazing finish out, probably the biggest finish of his life. Been a different player. It's turned around. The atmosphere is electric. It is well too early to celebrate, but that's how Pete plays. He gets hyped up and he pumps himself up. Yeah, he loves and then it, his natural he? talent flows. He loves it. He wears his hat on his sleeve. And I tell you what, the last three frames the way he's played, why not? Another five on the trot. He's done that twice, I think. Yeah, he has. So Gaz, he needs this big break. He needs... He's got, got a yellow. ball. He needs to be capitalising on this now. And he's got a chance here on Reds. Got a chance here on yellows as well now that angle's changed. He probably will play yellows because he's got one into the right centre after if he plays one on the rail, but he's badly amp. He's going to play reds into run to the yellow. Definitely Josh, 100% he's picked the right part of the game to start playing. It's a fair chance for Gaz this. Yeah. Just never looks phased, Gaz, does he? 
No, it doesn't matter what happens. He he just, his body language doesn't change. He no, just gets on with it and does what he needs to do. Oh, it looks like he's like been to see Stephen Peters the way he plays. He's unreal. Well, one more frame and that 500 pound bit's safe. Three stair. Yeah. That's a lovely yeah, little it's shot. That's a lovely little touch, is that? And I think. <laughs> oh, he's looking like he doesn't go in the middle, so the bottom of the the, yellow, the red near the, the yellow goes in the bottom right. So he might just stun across and play this after this shot. Tim, I can ask them to stop, but no. I'm pretty sure they won't. Just make it a quick one, mate. <sighs> yeah, he's played it, and he's played, played it well. Perfect. He's played it well, but it still can go wrong. No, definitely right. You'd never right. Never write guys off. He's such a classy uh, player. Nobody's writing anybody off, no. especially not He's from the Thomas early. booth. There's a long way to go, yeah. <coughs> and he's played a Perfect. great shot. So we play the left centre, top rail, probably side rail. Did you check that a little bit or not? He'd like to get closer to the last red. Did you check it or would you no, not? No, just playing natural. natural. Top cushion, side cushion. That's a great shot. That's a really nice line, it's, actually. He'd love to have dropped straight on that so he could screw straight back for blocking the left centre. Yeah. So he's going to have to like do a little a bit little of work. Bit short. Yeah. A little bit short on it. He might be able to hold it and screw it back onto the other. Between us and then a 500-pound side. He has. He's done exactly that. He's on this black now for break dish. Brings it back within two. Nice dish. All right, mate. Four. Oh, why have we got five three? Oh, he's putting reverses on. You'll sort it. Five three. Five four. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good frame from Gazit, but a good finish that. Well controlled. Yeah. Those dishes are uh, including the reverses on the scoreboard there. What on there? On that, yeah, he's put the reverses on. Somebody's breaking glasses. Yeah, Ryan, we're just saying that about Gaz. He's <laughs> just solid as a rock, really, isn't he? he really is. Absolutely solid. Definitely composure, Ryan. He showed great character there. Gaz's persona hasn't changed all night, has it? He's been in front, he's been the same player. He's been behind, real? he's been the same player. He's a true player, he's a true professional, he's a gent. And he's a great player. Now then, was that a dry break from Pete? Yeah. A little bit of work to do on the top end of the table. Collecting. The scary thing, Andy, is this standard could have been better again, couldn't Cheers, it? Cheers, David. It could have gone up a notch as well because it was a bit nervy early doors. Yeah. Uh, both players had chances, but for 24k, you're going to be nervous, aren't you? Of course you are, yeah. You're going to be a little bit nervous. And listen, they've done the table justice, they've done the crowd justice, all the supporters justice, uh, and people watching at home. It's been it's a fantastic watch, and we're not finished yet. I think there's another twist. Yeah, it's Noah. Hello, Noah. How are you, pal? Big shout out. Andy, Matty, Wayne, and Sean. They had to leave early, guys. But a big shout out to you. I hope you're still watching and uh, loving the stream. And all, mainly the match. First time tuned in. Good commentary, chaps. Cheers, David. It's great feedback. Yeah, send us a friend request, Dave, and uh, you'll get to see all our other games. Yeah. And Gazza's in again here, you know. He really is. He, he's, he's digging deep. He has to dig deep. That's a nice shot. 
He just doesn't quit, does he? Nah. He doesn't quit. Nah. Such a great player. And I think that red goes between the two yellows into the bottom left, don't it? So. Yeah, and even if he doesn't, the one over the bottom right, he's going to you know, get good. He can move anywhere around the table. Oh, he, can even, he can even play onto it now. He can stun down the table and play into the same corner pocket where the red over the hole is. Bottom right, he's got the perfect angle. But he doesn't need to do that. He can work around it. He's, he's looking, looking at it. it. He's, he's, looking. Look, he's definitely looking at it. But he doesn't want to drop the wrong side of it. Oh, he's looking like he's yeah. going to hit the yellow as well. He's got to be able to get back out. So it's a big shot, this. A big positional shot. But look, oh, he's caught the knuckle. He's still OK because he's got the saver at the bottom right to play position. But he knows the black's going to could be tougher. Dropped a little bit short there, you know. He needed to be higher up on that. Oh, this is thin. And if that goes in the corner, then it does go in that corner. I don't corner. know why you play to get on it into yeah, the bottom right. Yeah, that's why I thought earlier it went. Yeah, this is a snip it back. But the cue ball, where's it going? Anyway, is that a Virgo? Where's the cue ball Anywhere. going? Anyway, it's sitting. Yeah. yeah. Well, if he hits the knuckle just before the knuckle, it could be in the top it's right gonna corner. It's going to be like it. here, isn't it? Well, he has to be careful because there's a, a wall of Riellas that can block that. him. I'll leave it on this angle for you. He might, he might even have a double and screw back out, but if it goes, he's got to play it, hasn't he? But he's dropped well short. Trouble. Oh, <laughs> so close, so he close. He was forced into that one, guys. <clears throat> now then, advantage, fist cake. Fisher makes short work of these, I think. Yeah, Get onto his bad one straight yeah. away. How well is he queuing now, though? He because his confidence is up and his, his, his tail's up. He's hitting the ball well. He'll drop this into the right centre first, I think. Yeah. Maybe not, maybe not. He'll come round the back of it. He doesn't need to do what's stupid. He will now. He will now. He'll stick it at the top end of the table, surely. Me, I'd have took the bottoms out early. Get rid of him, yeah. There, but yeah. He's got, listen, where they are. He hard, doesn't he, care, does he? He can get anywhere. He's he feels good. He gets anywhere on the table here. Plays that shot so well. Absolutely plum. Just to drop in and let naturally do its work. <laughs> and that is feeling good. That now. is three frames in front for a very long time. You tell Shelly. Tell, tell Shelly. I just need if it if it gets towards the end to not let people jump in my beer. Because it's gonna happen. A different Peter Fisher you're seeing now. It's a different person. Three in front, it's amazing. Atmosphere's fantastic in here. 2017. I'm going to try and get you the view from. Uh, Keep so that's the five hundred pound bet safe. Nice. Been a fantastic crowd. In really, yes, it's been brilliant. Been really, really respectful. It. They're and not shouted on a shot so or anything, <laughs> have they? No. And to be fair, 
there's still you can still happen for Gaz and I would have enjoyed it either way to be fair. <laughs> we we all know how good they are when they're on the game. Tim Pearson, hello pal. But you do feel it's just slipping away a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But we did, yeah, we took the five hundred pound bet. It's a great they offered they offered three star plus three to Peter and he was already one in front. So yep, we have to take the bet and we did. And so that bet's safe. Cheers, Shane. Thank you very much. And Gaz has got a great chance here on yellows. He has. This is what I like about Gaz's game. Hey, Lauren, you all right? His pattern plays absolutely crisp. What are you doing with this uh, yellow, red? Well, if it... I had a chat with him at Interval. He'll, uh, he'll just use that. Get low to on it. That. Yeah, just get slightly he'd low like on to, that. He'd one. like to get on it now. He'd like to punch it back, which yeah, is has, perfect. He has, yeah. Play the one in the bottom corner, hit the red, not the red out of the way, and it's it's just there for Pete to pick off. Yeah. Cheers, Todd. Thank you very much. We try our best. Yeah, Andy, no, Andy you, knows Todd. what he's talking about. Well, so do you, Darren. I'm here for the fun. Oh, he's Mr. Oh, Cannon. Oh, wow. Now then, what did we say about another twist? Look at that. What did we say about another twist? To get through um, that gap is unreal. Well, you shouldn't be playing in the gap. You should have been playing to stun onto the red. You know, like any, he, he hit it firm, but just tickle the red and you guaranteed it. But yeah, to get through there is crazy. Yeah, that's millimetre stuff. Yeah. And for Gaz, he'll be seething. Because he doesn't normally make them mistakes. He's got to start feeling that it's not his night, yeah. surely. He's got to clip this off the Push rail. Push first. Yeah. yeah. Thin enough yeah. to run off the bottom rail into the the red or the yellow. I've got a feeling this is coming red. out, you know. He's got to commit. He's got the first part He's got of it. it. Oh, he's covered oh. it. I, I, think it, I think it might go. Does it go? Let's have a look Over top red. down. Uh, I That's think a it's, big bag. I think it squeezes. Yeah. I'm going to leave it on this He played a great now, shot guys. there, Ryan. Deserved to get that. Yeah. This might squeeze. He's got to catch right on the top, on the knuckle, on the right-hand side of the knuckle. Natural on the black as well. Yeah. And it'll spin it on the side to spin it in. Got it. He's got it. That is a great shot. Yeah. He had to play it with yeah. side to spin it off the rim. Deserved that finish. Yeah. It does squeeze, and it has. And that's a summer finish. Yeah. Great well, finish. The might have made a few mistakes in the early part of the match, but this last third of the match has been an absolute treat. Yeah, an absolute treat to watch. Some pool in the last seven, eight frames. Yeah. It's been crazy. Lee, I think there's been a 30 plus game here um, before a few years back. Um, this is the biggest that I've commentated on. It's 2018, Pete Fisher. But them last few frames are hard. And listen, you get your twists, your turns, you get yeah. the rub of the green, you get it against you, you get it for you. But that was some finish under pressure. I had a feeling he'd take them, though. Yeah, you can you can see it, can't you? Yeah. But he, he, he didn't just take it, he nailed it. Yeah. Odds on Gaza be on the scoreboard, mate. Currently three to one. Twenty eighteen to Peter. Twenty-three. And I don't see a white ball. Oh, it's in the yeah, middle of the table. That's the one out. with the red dots on. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm looking everywhere apart from that. Sorry, people. He did Kurt. he definitely deserved it. He played a great shot and the side took it into it, but it was he had a chance, but even to pop the ball, you know, he's some going, so fair play to both players. We've definitely been treated to some entertaining pool in the last third of this match. I've totally enjoyed it. It's been great. Yeah. And uh, there's plenty of play yet. Even now, it's not an easy finish, this on Yellows, dry, is it? Dry from Pete when he needed a... Yeah, but it, it, on Yellows, yeah, it's not easy. No, he needs to get into but that one. It does go, go in the right centre. It goes in yellow. the right centre, 
and he's got the connecting ball. He'll put the one in the corner and move the yellow up near the black, a bit further up. He might even go off the black. I'm not sure if it's too far out, but. It's one of them, you've got to be perfect Listen, on he it. could even play this off the black now and open up the, the a wider angle for ah, the yellow. OK, yeah, yeah. Rather than pinpoint, so if he plays it off the black... That's you a see big what shot, yeah, I do well, see it. I fancy yeah. him to play it off the black anyway. Yeah. So we're talking this... Oh, sorry, this yellow. Off the black. Off the which black opens to up, push this one down yeah, towards to, this back. Well, not to push it down, to open it up, to open the angle up wider. Like that. Not come out though. It hasn't come out, but no. it was his way of finishing. But it was there. Yeah. He hit it a bit firm, really, but. Yeah. And I think the black goes bottom right now, if I'm There's not mistaken. Sorry, guys. With these two players, where it's come tonight, Kit, if it were too clear, we might be here while four in the morning. <laughs> But it's another chance that Gaz has had and he's making hard work of it. I tell you what, though, practice for Gaz last few, like over the last yeah. month, he's one of the best doublers of a ball I've seen. Really? And looking at that yellow, it, I'm not sure if the yellow or the black goes in the bottom right. But at some black point, he's going right. to have to probably double that yellow. He's got a big pocket with the red on the left hand side of the middle. He is a fantastic doubler of a ball. In his own mind, he's already worked his finish out. Yeah. But it's not easy. Can break it out now. Well, but not guaranteed I, another shot. If he's played that, that tells me the yellow near the black goes in the bottom right off the red, maybe. I think that. Let's have a look top down. And then double the last yellow. The yellow off the red over the bottom right. Yeah. After this. Yeah. Get yeah. an angle, big pocket for the double. I don't know. I think he might have to play it, you know. I think he's going to struggle to hold, is he? No, he's, he's screwing, just screwing it. it. He's screwing this. Yeah, he is. I, saw, I wondered if he was going to try and break him out. He's playing the double. Well, the yellow must go bottom left then. It must go, won't it? It doesn't look possible. Yeah. The way he's playing that, that must goes go bottom, bottom left. left. Yeah. I don't think he did there, Joe. Because if he tries to move that I'm yellow, he's... Sure fly. Oh, no. He's not guaranteed a shot. He's a great doubler of a ball. And it's me. Oh, I thought, oh, I, wow. I, thought I jinxed him. He's got the eyes, then. <coughs> I got him again. Oh, that was tight. Yes, but referee. what did I say about a double of a ball? Referee. Now, does he double it back into the Hold big pocket? Oh, the no, corner? ref has said that's fine. That was close, surely. No, I don't, it definitely wasn't a foul. Definitely wasn't a foul. No, oh, ref hasn't called it. That was very tight. <coughs> Do you right, know, let's see. He might double it back into the bottom corner. Ah, oh, just to guarantee himself or in or over sort of thing. Even a treble. I don't know. He's got, he's got, he's got options, hasn't he? He is very good at doubling. Should we go balls. top down for this shot? If you like. Not too late. Yeah. I think he's going for the treble, man. He doubled it. He has missed, missed it. Now then, Fisher. He doesn't miss many doubles, but Pete Fisher. I don't think it was a foul, to be fair. Sorry if I said. Stuart, if I got it wrong, I got it wrong. But it looked close when I first looked at it. I literally looked up and saw the black moving, so. Yeah, yeah it definitely, definitely was a foul. But this is Pete's chance to shine. And it feels like a, a long time since you saw Pete at the table. But for it isn't. Reason. But yeah, it but it ain't. No, it's not at all. Not long at all. Well, it's 2018. <laughs> <coughs> if Pete Fisher wins this match, 
chippy shuts at what time? Get there early because there'll be no fish cakes left. Yeah, there won't be any fish cakes left, I'll tell you that. This is a big one. This is a big one. Yeah, when he when he's on, mate, he's second to none. It's fantastic. But you've got to be careful because if you roll this in, yeah, it's in. But when you pump it, it can spew it. Mm. And I think he's going to drop it and take take what he offers him. He's going to screw this, and this could rattle. It's, well, it's nice little kisses. Love you there. It's come out perfect yeah. for him. Played that well, and I tell you what. Fish cakes on fire is going to be singing he is. now. This is going to be loud. I'm going to put the mic. I'm going to go to the room camera. It's two away, guys. It looks like it's slipping away from Gaz. Pete Slots it in that side. Let's get back to the break now. We did say no matter what happened went on tonight, this would be a great game and it's proved to be just that. I'm not sure if Gaz have just left the room for a second. Let me just go back to the room camera. No, is it oh, typical the second I moved the camera? Cheers, Daz, mate. Much appreciated. There's so many good clubs around. So you just, you know, we're sport for choice in West Yorkshire, and it drives me absolutely mad when clubs get on on against each other. There's absolutely no need for it whatsoever. You don't realise how lucky we are to have so many good venues on our doorstep. Go on, Tim. Be quick. Just about to break. We're back. You can tell by the crowd if it's a wet or dry break, can't you? Yep. You don't need us in commentary. No, you don't need us at all. Getting some nice comments though, so it's really nice. It's been a great night. It's been some yeah. good people in the chat. Do appreciate your comments. I think they appreciate the pool and the stream, to be fair. It's not a bad stream. It's all right. It's like watching YP for TV, like we can watch pool like this. It's not bad. Yeah. No, it's all good fun. <laughs> oh, look at that. He'll he, get, he wasn't so smooth feel, on them 10 minutes I feel ago. He's going to get him, mate. I don't, he's, in that, yeah. he's in the zone now. I don't feel like he's going to miss. Even though it's not easy. He's, you can just tell with Pete's body language. Yeah, he's he's up for it now. He's not edgy anymore. But listen, there's only three frames, isn't it? It, it sounds it's a lot for, his, for these players. It's yeah, not. Yeah, but Pete gets the next one. If he gets this one, on oh the hill, well, listen. Then it's just anybody who's on the hill is oh. uh, the pressure's huge because there's no mistakes there. It's the point of no return. Last chance saloon. Okay, sir. Uh, book me a taxi. Get out of here. <laughs> Just compose himself, just looking where he wants to be. When people said it's a game he can't win, I just thought, well, you're mad. <laughs> you're absolutely mad. Cheers, Keith. Daz is my techie man. He's, uh, he's, he, he, to be fair, he's done all the work with the streamline. 
No, we can't leave Mr. Riley out of this. Mr. No. Riley's done a hell of a lot of work I've on this stream I haven't seen anything of him. Is he still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. Yeah. He's just very busy doing his house up. Well, You're an animal, you. What time is it? Ten. It's only ten o'clock. The DJ on downstairs. Bang on it, Richard. Nah, Joe, I'm not. I'm nowhere near, mate. There's He's some great me. streamers out there. Way more capable than me, fella. I do what I can, and I enjoy it. Do it all for nothing, as you know. Cheers, Billy. Thank you very much. Liam, glad you stumbled across. Dave McMahon is a top player, but he's a top guy as well. Send us a friend he's request, a legend. Liam, and uh, we, you'll get to see all the other matches. We do stream a lot of games, some with comms, some without. Some of the midweek games, we don't do comms he's on. taking his time on this one. He is, it's a ball and, frame. And right, well, listen, every frame's important now. This is massive, though. This is for the hill, isn't it? This is huge, this one. Cheers, John. Much appreciated. This is a big shot for Peter. Has he got the angle to stun across? I think he's, has he tried to move the black to open up the middle pocket there, you know? Or will he play the red onto the yellow, onto the red as a plant? Oh. Can, can you see? I think yeah, he's there. It's I think he'll play the free ball plant. Red onto yellow, red in the corner, and it opens the table up. Sweet as a oh, hen nut. That's, yeah, he's looking at it. He's looking he's at, it. at it. Then. Yeah. I don't. He caught the black on the way out there. And if he'd have missed the black, he'd have been straight in it. He definitely plays it. Because the cue ball is just going away from when he plays a plant. It's a big shot, but it could be a winning shot. Cheers, Joe. And Matty. I'll tell you what, um, Joe, and the guys saying that Pete... I bet he's itching to play this plant. <laughs> Pete said it's a tough game. Pete has been in virtually every single day He's recently. probably put more hours in yeah. in the last two months yeah. than he has done for the last yeah. year. He's taken this very seriously. He I really think, has. I think he's wanting to play the plant. I think he's wanting to play the plant. It's obviously not dead set because he'd have played it by now. Danny says plant might he's rattle. He's going to play it. That's for me. That is the shot. And he's now dead. Oh, he's got it. And now I tell you what, he gives himself a big chance now. The one in the bottom left. He's just got a clean pot it, stun it out. Where do you want to be? He wants to be on. He, Show me where you he wants be. to be a little bit higher up than that. He right wants a little bit lower. There. Yeah, well, we won't fire the word on the right line. Yeah. You want it to be there. Yeah, <laughs> you've got to be careful here. He might play this and flick off the yellow, but uh, he's got the angle to screw it straight back, yeah, surely. He has. He's under it. He's okay, he's okay. The pressure. He's going to be oh, using he the yellow. He hasn't even moved his feet. He's going to use a yellow as a blocker over the right centre. He's missed that. Will it pull up? Yes. This is a Just. big black for Peter Fisher. The crowd is going to go mental if he pots this. He could be on the hill. He is oh, on he's the hill. nailed it. Class performance, class finish. And the crowd go wild once again. It has been an absolutely great atmosphere tonight. Both sets of fans have been absolutely amazing. <coughs> it's been quiet during the player shots. Plenty of noise in between the frames. Exactly what you want.
Cue balls in. Foul on the break from Pete. Oh, he's got a chance to finish it, has he? Foul on the break, no. Oh, he's fouled. Yeah. But this is all pressure on Gaz now. Big pressure. He needs to win the next five frames. Has he done five? He's done four. Has he done five, Gaz? He's done four. I don't see a five from Gaz. Don't write him off yet. No, I'm not going to. At your peril. Not a chance am I writing Gaz off now. This would be the ultimate twist. Well, listen, he knows that he can't miss a ball now. He knows that this is it. He's it does get in your head, doesn't it, when you know you can't miss? The line. You know when you've got a, like, a slightly awkward one? It does, doesn't it? It really does mess with you. Nah, no, Colt, nobody's writing him off yet, mate. Nobody. Definitely can't be written off. Nah. He's too good a player. Not a chance. Not a chance. He knows that he has to He is just ice it. cold, isn't he? He's solid as a rock. Yeah. And this is great. He's, you can see he's going to drop this in the bottom right, left, in the right centre, find a gap. His patterns are fantastic. Sorry, not tonight, Josephine. Ooh, is he too... Nah, it's, it's in perfect shape. Bang there. it. Perfect shape. Uh, it doesn't matter really where he lands, to be fair, to this. Get past the Reds. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Played it well. <laughs> Jaden, listen, Gaz can absolutely yeah. win this match. Five frames that these rules yeah, are absolutely gone. Absolutely can. His class, just like Pete when they're on fire. Pleasure to watch. And that's one down, four so, to go. And that's a that's a reverse dish as well. So yeah, this is a great match to yeah, watch. Yeah, it is. Reverse dish got the break. Dish now he's back. Nah, we're yeah, not arguing with we, you, Jaden. We understand that, Jaden. Yeah. But I know what you're saying. A lot of averages come into play, but this standard of pull. It's, uh, it's brilliant. I think both players can take a lot out of it. They'll watch it back, regardless of the result. There's been missed frames, there's been gimmies, gifted, and some absolutely outstanding finishing quality pool. Yeah, it's been... Been one of the best to watch and one of the best to commentate on, I've got to, yeah. I've got to admit. Hello, Sam. How are you, pal? He hits that break so well, yeah. doesn't he? But has he made a ball? Yeah, he has. He yeah. has. He won't give him what Gaz is. He's, he's a seasoned player. He's, he's, he's an hard nut to crack. Three behind. Yeah, fair enough, John. John Roberts says he wins from here. He should win from here. <coughs> Not I've should. Seen, listen, but I've seen it a million times. It's gone yellows there, isn't it? He's guys on yellows. Got yeah. a tough shot there, you know. I mean, he's got. I'm not saying he's going to play the skill shot at some point there, but. He might play this and lead the angle for the one in the bottom right to stun up the table after this shot. Just kill the white. But he hasn't. He's gone for it, Blair. See He's what I'm saying there? Bang on the red. And yeah. The, like the up, last ball. Up, up. Yeah, I see what you're saying, yeah. Because yeah. even if you go long or He's short, only, you've got a chance. He's only got bottom right now. Well, he's got. he can chip this back, but yeah, he's got to play the bottom right. It's a tough finish from here, to be honest. It's not, not easy at all. With the yellow by top right, it's very That's difficult. That's the one that could cost him. 
he's caught it there and it's gone in, but Ooh. that played soft. Probably finish a bit straight there, you know. <coughs> so will he play, drop it shorter and play the one in the top left to put an ultimate ball? And get behind the yellow carney top left if he yeah. wants it. He's gonna, he can't do a lot with his cue ball. Well, he's gonna Skilly. play this with a little bit of side off the side rail and drop right where his cue is on the line. But when you play these shots with like the, the running side like that, it's, it's hard uh, to judge the pace, isn't well, it? Well, you can quite easily. Yeah, I was going to say, the skill is the better option because he hasn't missed well, one. It is, but it's just off a cock handle there. Yeah. If you look, it's not deep in the, in the shelf and it's just to the left hand side of the fall of the pocket. So it's not an easy skillet, but he might have to take it. Yeah, I fancy him for that skilly. He hasn't missed one yeah, yet. Yeah, John Steele played a skilly. He might have to, but I mean, he could play running side. He's going to play the skilly. Now then, all right, let's go top down his, for this. His money match tonight is all on this shot for me. It's just if you look at the it where isn't it nice, is, is it? No, it's just off. So you could actually, you've got to catch it right. There's not a lot of margin of error. It could double kiss it if it catches the knuckle. Oh, his cue was close to the white there. Yeah, he cue so well though, but and he's played, played an that absolute beautiful. beauty. Wow. He pl Listen, this guy is not going away. That is fantastic. Definitely what a was shot. on Liam. If he gets this, you've got to say fair play. That was just big unreal. Balls that, innit? Yeah. Doesn't want to catch the red here, you know, and uh, get a little bit unfortunate. Well wow. done, Gaz Higgins. Great Take finish, about Gaz. Quality. Great finish, man. Under pressure, that finish was fantastic. Top draw. That skilly was unreal. It was offset as well, you know. Yeah, it was. It was really good. He was executed I like his that. game. I, I like his game. Another great finish. I mean, the last, what, dozen frames have been a treat. Right, I've been top it? draw. Absolutely class. What fish cake won't give for a dish here, though. Listen, this is when the bum starts twitching a little bit because... Yeah, you're still, you're on the hill. Yeah, but it gets back within one and it's, yeah. <laughs> pressure get, starts on you, doesn't it? Yeah. Can you get over the hill? It will go mental in here if Fishcake wins this. I think we're going all the way. Yeah, well said, Joe. Really well said. It, it's a match that probably deserves to go that far. Yeah. Neither's done nothing wrong in the last dozen frames for me. Oh, oh let's get on this. That's the break. He's not Has he got, got a one. ball? Is nice it, try. Well, that Pete's break. Yeah. He took a bit off that, you know. <laughs> Great comeback. But he's gone dry there. And it's first chance to Gaz. Reds are Is the Is there a rematch, says Mike? I'm pretty sure there'll be some sort of real. No, mate, I've got to go to Manchester in the morning. He's going to seal the deal on Reds. I'm fine, mate. And listen, he's off again. He's off again. It's a big finish. I can't see him wanting to go for a game. But you never he has know. got nerves of steel, hasn't he? Keep saying it, mate. He's class. Yeah, he is. He's, he's class. Got nerves of steel. He does not look bothered. <laughs> it's just amazing. I know what type of guy he is, and whatever happens, you know, if it were to go, he's not in his way. Yeah. He'd be gracious in defeat. Yeah, he will be, yeah. He's a true player. But it's not over. Listen, he's not thinking about that. He's thinking, I'm winning this 23 22. Yeah. I'm taking the ready zone. That's Gaz's uh, take on it. And that's a great shot. He seems to have just got stronger all of a sudden. Red top cushion. How are you getting up to that red? <laughs> Me, I'd be happy to pop this red. <laughs> <laughs> so would I, but he's got to get uh, up there he, at some point. He could drop this in, play the one in the corner. If he could find a gap between the yellows and run into it, like he's done it. But it's a little bit unfortunate. 
All he's got is a plant. He hasn't, yeah, he's got a plant And if he plays now. a plant, the other reds go into the yellow. Let's have a look top down, see what that yeah. plant looks like. He's got to play the plant and take the cue ball oh, up to the top. these are horrible. But look where the red goes after he plays the plant. It's going to stick to the yellow or he might get a roll of the dice. I'm not sure. But it's going in that direction and he needs a lot of luck here. He's, gonna, he's got to play position for the red at the top in the ball. So he just wants to catch just before the jaw or the centre pocket. A little bit aside. But look where the red went. He's got an angle. He needs an angle on the yeah, penultimate red into the. Uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. We'll go this way. There you go. Yeah. He's a tough ass now from here. He's, yeah. He's, he's, he's want to be as close to that as you can. Yeah. He, he's got to play some shot on this one across the top rail and get an angle so he can ideally sort of straight to run to the yeah, bottom drop rail. Drop it in, yeah. Or does he play? Has he got the angle to play straight down for the bad red now? The line tells you that it's there. Yeah, that's But a it's good a big shout. ask to play with pace. He's played it. And I'll tell you what. He's on it. He's absolutely nailed it. What a shot. Wow. Unbelievable. <coughs> that is inch perfect. I'll tell you what. That shot was unbelievable. Uh, Neil, I was about Argy. to say the same as you there, mate. I thought this was Pete's back at the table and he's gone. But what a shot that was. I thought the same, Neil, but he's pulled out an absolute belter. I'm loving this match. Should have put that song on. It's a belter. Uh, it's a belter. <laughs> She's a belter. <laughs> <laughs> he's caressing perfect. that cue ball. That is perfect. He's absolutely caressing that cue ball. And he, this is another finish. That is a finish and half. It, it's beyond it. It's it's just mental. I mean, Pete sat there thinking, "Give me a chance." Yeah, have a and word. And Gaza's like. just dug deeper. This is unbelievable. Man. Oh, is it? It's unbelievable, Jeff. Unbelievable, Jeff. It, it really is. Another top draw finish. Wow! wow. Superb. Absolutely superb. We've even got to applause that ourselves. Yeah, we have, we have. Well the done. The commentary will give you an applause for that because it was unbelievable. That was Now cool. then. I need, I need a wee. Oh. oh, okay. Sorry, guys and girls. <laughs> to be fair, he does, but he hasn't had a chance, really. He's, Gaz has played some unbelievable finishes. And he's dug deep, and I'll tell you what, some of the best finishing of Paul I've seen in a long time, under this pressure, for £24,000. Don't go put the kettle on now, you might miss it. Yeah, the, the shot to get the penultimate red, to pinpoint that. Absolutely top draw. Oh, he's took a little bit off that one. He still made a ball. But he took a lot of steam out of that. Do you know why he's done that? Because he wants to get involved in a game of pool. He can't afford to go crash all gun ho and leave him wide up for Pete. He wants to get involved in the game. So he knows whatever happens, he's going to get his hand back on the table should he have gone dry. Ooh. Probably the right thing to do. He won't even go for the finish. He won't even go for the finish. And this is this is what Gaz is good at. He's very methodical, he's very clever. Pete, you don't go too premature. He's off for the pot on a split, he's going for the jugular. And I don't know if it's the right thing to do at this stage of the game. Taking every opportunity. Gaza's prepared to wait. He'll fancy these, but these are not easy.
Yeah, I, I can't see Pete going for game here. He's too, he's too early. He is. I can't see it. For me, it's a little bit early. He's going to crash in here and out for the best, isn't he? Well, he's got, he's got too many crash balls. Yeah. He's going to try and split these two yellows off this bottom rail. Oh, he's one. dropped behind it. Oh, he's I'll tell you them. what, don't. If it, if this is naughty as hell and gets these, honest to God, because the what, black. What is gonna, he doing with that black? Well, yeah. It's going to be the last ball to break out. Yeah. He's got to play now for the penultimate Bottom on one. the rail, yeah. yeah. And then he leaves one in the middle to crash out, but it's got to come out. I mean, Jesus. Yeah, you just got to go into that 100 mile an hour and just open it. He's got us pulling his hair out and I've got none. <laughs> Feel your pain. Yeah, this is a big. He needs a good angle here, but he needs a lot of look after it as well. All right, where are we saying? Where are we saying? Let's put another little dot on the line. Well, um, he's got to leave yeah. it like a bit further up. Any sort of angle like that. Like that is what I'm we're saying. I'm not convinced, but he's what? gone wide. Well, he's give himself. He's well, played the angle. I tell you all, what. All the other option was there apparently. But yeah, yeah, but he can play this now with a bit more power, a bit more conviction. Yeah, he can, and just hope for the yeah to make the balls move. But if he gets his finish, come on, man, it's mental. Didn't see the start <laughs> of this. He sees I'm going for a lie down. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm going to join you, Neil, but I'm going to have a lie down too. This is a big shot for 24 k Didn't think he'd come up there. To be honest, there's, there's going to be plenty of movement here. He's potted it, but he's not on the black. He's not on the black. No, I'm driving it morning, mate. Early Manchester for me. Cheers, buddy. Can off, he flick it? Off he, the red. Can he hit enough off the black to play off the red in yeah. the corner? Off red, yeah. He's I've got, got a to, feeling he's going to play it. And I've he'd got, have to play it with pace. I don't think he can get it, you know. Looking and at double the, as well. The angle changes. He doesn't like him get it. Yeah, Joe says off red. A few yeah. people saying off red. It, it's a chance, but I don't think he can get enough on it. This is a. Uh, he's looking now. He's looking at it now. He's on about the double, mate. Yeah, but that's he's off that about, red. He's playing the double off the bottom rail, off the red into the corner at the bottom right. He's looked at it. He needs to flick. Oh, it oh wow. <coughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, that could have gone anywhere, but this is 22 all. This is massive pressure reversed. No, it's not. Yes, Danny Jones, we've got 1700 watching now. Get it shared. It's crazy, you know, when you yes, look and you think you, you, you need five, you need one. What a, but what listen, a guy. he's shown some proper, proper gonads. He really it. has, yeah. And Pete there, all, a massive finish to go for, and very unlucky. He nearly pulled it off. Pete's breaking a decider, though. Well, what a fairy tale ending that would be for addition the final frame. Yeah, I do believe Lee, these are gone. Yeah, I the don't see Gaz huge. missing. The pressure's big. How big your telly? Oh, he's played a great it's shot there. Fine. Solid, solid queuing. Playing the one to Matt the right. Matt can't watch. And he's <laughs> a great referee, is Matt. <laughs> Just topped it through, yeah. Nearly 2,000 viewers yeah, watching fantastic this. Fantastic numbers. And I think it's going to shoot up very, very quickly. Yeah, get it shared, guys. Anybody fancy some cake? We've got a decider. A race to one. I think Pete might cut breaking this early because you can't, you know what I mean? But he's been putting balls off the front. Gaz Higgins. Have me. you ever played a race to one for 24 grand? No. I'd rather toss a coin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I hope Pete does have his moment for his sake. Because, honestly, neither one deserves to lose this match. And he alert the loser for sure. He's solid, Gaz. Gaz is solid. He is absolutely it took solid. Took a while, to, a while yep. to turn up, but the my God, have they turned up? No, it's to 23. That is it. We got a decider. 
We're going to see a shake of hands, I'm sure. Do a thing on my best of order, give them both round of applause. I'll leave it. Yeah. You turn it down. Right, we have a designer, guys. Give both of these players a big round of applause. Proper entertain you tonight. It's a one frame of pool for 24k. This is it, guys. The last chance saloon. This is, this is superb. I really do hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Get this shared. Let's all watch a final frame for 24 grand. Somebody's going to be in a world of pain. Let's get these views over 2,000. Brilliant. Has he got a ball? No, dry. He has got a ball. Oh, he has. I thought that was dry. And, and these yellows. Ball, the first shot, he's got the perfect angle to play the yellow into the bottom right-hand corner and move the black. He has, he has to play it first shot into the bottom right yeah. and just stun into the black. Yeah, got to forget. The red. And in fact, you've got to be careful because has he got a backup shot if it sticks? Yeah. Yeah, he's got top left, well, yeah, doesn't he? It's, but it's not as easy as it looks, does it? No, this is a massive shot yeah. for 24 grand. It is. Listen, it won't surprise me for Pete if he went reds, but for me, looking at yellows, it's got to be yellows for me. The first yeah, I see. You I mean reds ain't bad, are they? Yeah, Once you get got, he's got first to play, few. and he's got to stun into the black. And that's what or, he's doing. Or at the low side of the red. Oh, you see it's what I mean? Out, but it's stuck. So a long stretch, and um, he's been unfortunate there. I'm not sure on our angle if he's got the plant. No, the well, the plant looks. Yeah, it's a nah, little bit acute. Plant's that. awkward. So do you think he'll play Didn't the one on the rail and, yeah. and take the pocket? Should he miss it? Yeah. If he gets it, he's been a little <laughs> bit unlucky there. Cause if it's the underside of the red, he's on the one on the bottom. Been total class to, to oh, it's, it's been, been a great commentary. It doesn't matter who wins now, does it? It's just been no, fantastic. And, uh, to, to be honest, like I'll applaud both players. Yeah. They've put an absolute box office show on for everybody at home. Right, this he's stretching a, he's here. Stretching. You've got to be careful. He's got it. He hasn't. Oh, I thought he did. Oh, he, he might have had a saving grace there. Just them two made them yeah. slightly awkward. That was harder than it looked for Pete, yeah. to be fair. Gaz has got a long stretch. Listen, this is not an easy finish not easy at all because he's killed the two reds on the boat line makes it a lot harder for Gaz Gaz might even drop the red in front of the yellow on the top left hand pocket he's going to do that skilly no I think he's, he's going to play just off get behind knuckle. it he's going to play off the knuckle and drop it right in front of the yellow yeah. and he has oh he has he's played it good yeah now then this frame is even Stephen yeah anyone's now yeah now, Pete could take the yellow out, fetch it back out, and sort of say, there you go, Gaz. He's not, though. I think he's just he's, separating these no, two, isn't he? Got the, he's got the break ball over the middle to knock the ball in over the top. Ah, he's gone. And he's seen it. And I'll tell you what, that ball has come high enough with over the middle as well. So nice, steady away shot. Oh, he don't want to go inside it. He, it's OK, top. He's got a chance in the top, but this is big. This His is hands huge. are sweaty. His hands are sweaty. We need, sweaty. A, we need an Eminem song on now. How do you play this? Because it's it's not the best angle in the world, is it? You'd like to get your cue to this, Wyatt, wouldn't you? Well, listen, he has no choice but to Scott play it. Scott says he's a gun. Not so sure now, Scott. But you've got to give yourself a chance. 1,900 viewers. Come on, guys. Let's get this above the 2,000. Get it shared. He's going to have to take his medicine in, I think. Just play it thin. He has. Yeah, he has. Now then, now he's got you the going bottom angle. right. You definitely, for me, go bottom right because yeah. he's got the perfect angle. Off cushion, though. Yeah, but he has no choice. Oh. He has to take the bottom right. The lower two of the yellows. He's got a natural angle to come out. He's playing it. He'd be sick to drop through the, between the red and the black in the middle of the pocket. The bot's there. Oh my God! Don't give it yet. No. Don't give it yet. No. It's massive. This is huge. 
He's absolutely perfect. He's bang on it. No. Oh, wow. He's giving it big. He has given it big. He's giving it big. I wouldn't give it big just yet. Sure. No, this is not in get... the pocket. Just take your time, pot the ball, then give it the large. But what if he does get this, what a fitting finish to the match. Oh, just give it. Just, oh, I couldn't do it. One shot away for 24 grand. And he'll be dancing everywhere. He's, He's done it. There. He's done it. He's took his shirt off. Watch, watch the table. Young fish is out. Young fish out. Absolutely brilliant, guys. <laughs> In the back, send him over, Ed. What a fantastic match. Should I speak to the players? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Let's go and have a chat with the players. Take, Andy, take that mic out the table. Shelley trying to keep him under control, but it's not going to be easy. A fantastic game. I really do hope you've all enjoyed it. Sorry guys, you might not be able to hear Andy very well. Massive round of applause for Gaz there. Sorry guys, you won't be able to hear Gaz very well.
I know that I have a little bit of time because I know I've broken down a busy guy. Uh, I, I told you ago, he what my plan is today. He's like stepped it up uh, 20, 35 percent. So I just know how oh, to play. Is it a great ball player? And he, he works his balls off his even works on his rep. I can tell. Uh, I got a bit of maybe some good finishes. Like uh, that was tweak early on. I must admit, fucking hell, I've never witnessed it. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of people on that we practice over the last few months and all of a sudden you start doing a cut break and it didn't work as well as you standing up and hitting them. Do you know why I did cut break? Because like yesterday afternoon I came in and I was busting them up and now we're going in and uh, Rich Bamman says try cut break and Ryan Pearson. So, so I tried it and uh, it, it, it worked a little bit and, uh, and I just want to thank um, a few thank yous myself, Tom Eckingbottom and Casper from Fine Jungle uh, for, for letting me play for free. Uh, you've let me play for free up to the end of the Sunday and you've given me some great practice, you know, because you've got the whole day on your shoulders, as I said. Well, you're, you're, you're a competitor and you want to win as much as I do, Andy, so it's awful practicing, but it's good for his game. and. Um, and another thank you, I just lo uh, love my wife to bits because she likes to be there. Get up, Fisher! She likes to be there a lot longer. She likes to go out of with this game. I can go out seven nights away now as long as I spend some time with my daughter. She'll let me do what I want and uh, she, she, she gets a lot of this like us. You know, you can have some street girl friends in the other days and I'll let you down, so. <laughs> But uh, she, she, she is probably likes fucking rid of me, you know what I mean? <laughs> I can definitely tell you that. I spoke to her in the uh, halfway through the game and she felt every shot for you. And she, won, she had her fingers crossed and toes crossed. So I'll tell you what, Pete Fisher. Yo, you did it! All right, guys, that's it from us tonight. Hope you've enjoyed the stream. Thank you very much and good night.